prestige, someone one of, of a kind. One of a kind, nothing mm. like him. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Dudu Zani Zuma. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Before we get into things, man, um, chicken, licken or KFC? Woo. KFC. KFC. Colonel, KFC. baby. Mm. Coke or Pepsi? Ah, Coca-Cola. 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 What's your service provider? MT and Vodacom. I've always been a Vodacom guy. How are they debiting you, boy? Because you don't have a bank account. Yes, yes, yes. What's happening there? Uh, uh, we get around these things. We get around okay. these things. Okay. Mm-hmm. Chucks, any questions? We, we, we know a few Pakistani guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to know. You, you got to know. Get, you got to know. Get cuts and cell phone, we in. Chucks, any questions for the Dizani? Colgate or Aquafresh? Wow, that's a nice one. I don't think of that one. After watching the Rugby World Cup... Aqua fresh reminds me mm. of the jersey. Lovely. Yeah. Apple Switch or Samsung? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hold it for any longer. <laughs> you mentioned tenders when it's mm. Yeah. Mm. And you know, I don't make this convers this conversation about politics and mm. but I mean since we're on that topic. <laughs> okay. Bank account story. What do you what, what is in your pockets? Yeah, right yeah, now? yeah. What's in my pockets? What is in your if pockets? If we had to say empty your pockets right now, what, what we you got there? Simple. Oh, God. Oh, hey. Two club. A two club. Cash money. Hey. Cash. Is that how you have to move? Congrats, man. That's, how, that's, how, that's, that's how I move. Yo, no that's your net move. worth right there, right, right there, now, as we this speak. Is, this is the Jeez. difference between me and poverty. Let's talk about AI. People are very doom and gloom about it. I think it's, I think it's a beautiful thing. It's insane. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. And this is the point that a lot of our, 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 our youngsters are missing. You are not going to, not everyone is going to be an Instagram star an instagram instagram model not, not everyone's going to be a social media um maverick to get to to those desired numbers is not going to happen for for everybody but at the same time when you told your your dad though you said pops listen what was that conversation like with you and pops it was it behind closed doors uh zonda commission uh, of inquiry so if you want to deal with issues of corruption um, theft, whatever it is that has happened, because it has happened over over the past. Mm. I'm not going to sit here saying that it definitely has happened. Really, five role players mm. being the president at the time, Jacob Zuma, three Gupta brothers, and myself. I know a guy who was uh, who had a, a certain amount of cash uh, stolen from him from his farm, um, but it was a lot of cash. Yeah. But um, that guy didn't have any any issues. No, 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 not. Um, he had he had an uncle in the furniture business. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. Joshua. <laughs> Your attention, one time for the misfits. Through the doors open on the highway, I promise you don't want this. You play golf? <laughs> you play golf? Um, I know how to, but that's not you something know. I play often. Enough. Yeah, you're so you can you're play a motorbike with me. guy. Me and you be the yeah, same. Yeah, I like, I like yeah. riding. Is it? Yeah, yeah he's a motorbike it's guy. My weekends, but, most of the time, I'm in the sugar cane. Yeah, uh, mm. quads, and then oh, yeah, hectic. And Harley yeah. super bikes from time to time, but I, I like being. Chief, mm. you had your podcast. You can use this through. You, you and your... I also had you on the weekend. <laughs> Are we rolling? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Guys, today it is a scorcher. We are outside. We are enjoying this wonderful patio. Um, Something else. Yeah, you know, Something just nice, nice and refreshing today. Uh, we got a, a, an amazing guest, um, Dutuzani Zuma. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you wow, for taking you. the time uh, to to chat with us today, yeah, man. Sure. We we really appreciate it. Um, yeah, welcome. Thank you very much, Chucks. Josh, thank you very for for having me on this growing podcast. Load shedding, load shedding. Yeah, you ain't nothing. Load shedding. You know, um, I I'm honoured to be on this platform. Um, you've you. got a very interesting dynamic demographic that you cover. And thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Sure. Awesome. Sure. Awesome. Awesome. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, when we, when we say we got, we got uh, Dutuzani on the podcast, there's going to be a lot of frequently asked questions. Sure. sure. Okay. We're going to, we're going to cover them quickly. We're going to see if we can cover them in five minutes just to get wrapped, uh, just to wrap it up and no, then we can get, we can we get We don't need five minutes, whatever. It wasn't me. That's the answer to all your questions. <laughs> wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> okay. 
bank account story. What do you what, have? What is in your pockets yeah, right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's in my pockets? What is in your if pockets? If we had to say empty your pockets right now, what, what you got there? there? Simple. Yeah, let's see. Strepsils. Are those strepsils? Yeah, these are Bronco stop. Okay. Bronco yeah. stop. Yeah. They, they, lozenges. Lozenges. I'm a bit of a cough. The weather's been a bit yeah, no, sure, fresh, sure. windy, sure. rain, Everyone. Okay. cold, hot. You can see as much as it's a scorcher today. I'm just trying to keep warm. Sure. Get well soon. Um, yeah, so during the podcast, viewers, excuse the cough. It's fine. And COVID. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just recovering from a little dang thing. So <laughs> lozenges. Uh, what else? Uh, deep pockets. <laughs> Dude. Ah. Vaseline. Shout Very out beautiful. Unilever. Yes. No, 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 no. We're not going to give them f- free, free plugs. Bleep that. Shout unless, out beep. Unless they, they sponsor. But anyways, <laughs> keep the, the, the yes. lips, lips moist. You've got to keep you know, the simple. lube for the lips need there. need to be on my, on my Josh. Got you. Know? You. you know I've what got, I mean? You know what I'm saying? You've got to have those smackers. Can't just get smackers. smacked at Dubai Airport to these boys. What else do we have on this side? All right. I'll pull out a sample here. Oh, I got there. Oh, hey. Two a two club cash money. Hey. Cash. Is that how you have to move? Congrats, man. That's, how, that's, that's, that's how I move. There's yo, no that's your move, net bro. worth right there, right, right now, there. as we this speak. Is, this is the difference Jeez. between me and poverty, B. Wow. Two clip. Two clips, yes. Nice. So you, You're paying for my Uber home, B. As a dude. 100%. So, no. so yeah, that's all I got in my pocket. That's pockets. it. That's it. I keep it simple. Medical aid card? No, no copies. No, no. Okay, now why don't you have no, medical no, aid? No medical aid. No medical aid. I'm not in the system. I'm not in the financial system in South Africa. I was... I was kicked out. How does that work? How did how does it happen that you wake up one day, they say, "Yo, bro, listen, <clears throat> you you cannot go to the bank. Yeah. You cannot open a bank You're account. Un- and you undesirable. You you can't even get your own SIM card because you can't register for Fika. You 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 know what what's that like? It's 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 disappointing. Um, it's disheartening because <coughs> he's a cough. Fine. We live in a democratic society. Sure. You know, um, as much as people may want to say what they want to say, they want to believe what they want to believe about myself and, and, and other people. We got our rights too. Mm. You know, um, I always, always compare myself to, to people that still have the pleasures of being on the system. Some have been locked up, some have got life sentences, some have got 10 years, whatever it is, for all sorts of, of heinous crimes. I've not been convicted of anything. I've been alleged, I've been accused, I've stood my ground, I've been to court, I've been to commissions of inquiry, um, and it's been close to a 10-year process, and they found nothing, they're not going to find anything. So I just wanted to stress that because it's, it's when I say disappointing and disheartening, um, I feel like my, my, my constitutional rights have been trampled upon. You know, so it started off in 20, end of 2015, um, the first, the first bank um, sent me notification of my accounts um, being being closed down, and then. Sorry, sorry to just. Yeah, this, this, the, I yeah. think the, yeah, this yeah, thing is killing us. Me. Bank accounts, boss. How did they? How does it work? How do they <clears throat> just take it away? Like, what's the process like when they just took it and froze it? Sorry, froze it. Or closed it, closed. I don't know. Okay, yeah. closed um, it. Some frozen, but um, closed is the ideal term. It's sure. an email. An email with notification that uh, this is what's going to happen over this period of time. And have a nice day. That's basically it. What was, yes. what was the initial period of time? Uh, it varies, but in this case, um, that one was 30 days. Wow. Yeah. What, now we, what, when what? you say 30 days, are they saying within 30 days... Make means, brother man, because wow. within 30 days, you're not going to have these means. So, and you so can't now withdraw. that happens, that happens. Now, ideally, you could um, transfer or whatever, but then once it starts happening elsewhere, you realize, hold on one second. So now you don't have any options. So, so now you're stuck. Everything that, that was, was there, they'll write you out a, a nice check, and that check might as well just stick it up on the wall because sure. it means absolutely nothing. Wow, sir. Because, you know, there's, there's certain um, um, legal issues with, with certain certain amount of cash as per the, the FICA Act, um, contravention of the, the money laundering, anti-money laundering, yes. all that sort of thing. So if you're found with a certain amount of cash above a certain threshold, it's a problem. 
So now you're just sitting with a with a with a with a check that you can't cash. I know a guy who was uh, who had a, a certain amount of cash uh, stolen from him from his farm, um, but it was a lot of cash. Yeah. But um, that guy didn't have any any issues. No, 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 not um, he had. He had an uncle in the furniture business. <laughs> Joshua, Joshua, Joshua Do. <laughs> Straight. So he was, he was, he was cool. Like, if I'd known that, yeah. you know, I'm, I might have done the same thing. Could have got the same yeah. couch, bro. 100%, bro. Why not? 100%, sure. Those L shapes, you know? It was definitely an L shape, though. Yeah. Could have been I one don't think it was one of those with the, with the buttons. You know? The old school ones. The old ones. school ones. <laughs> it's in the safari land. You know? That's the one, the leather ones. But who has so much power to be able to, to do something like that? People, without you being in jail. There's a system that exists, right? And the people that control that system. And if you are good, you're good. If you're not, you're gone. That's the economic system. That's a legal system. Um, that's a sporting system. There are people that control um, uh, what happens uh, behind, um, from behind the scenes. Mm. So if you are an undesirable for whatever reason, they go for you. You know, and it's one of those things where it's all good. We're not going to cry about it. It's, it's, it, it. it's happened. It is what it is. We'll carry on. You know, we're soldiers. We understand that we are in, in, in the business of, of change making. And this, this is what comes with it. What's it like having to explain that to your family? Yeah. Because now you've got kids as well. Yeah. But like, if you have to just explain something like that to your family, I mean, I'm just thinking about myself. If, if someone had to say, hey, Chuck's, it's all gone. It's closed. Like, how do you even look your family in the eyes and explain that story? We're not in the business of explaining. It's not what we do. We're okay. in the business of getting things done. Right. Pressure comes. Um, hostility comes. We all have issues that we deal with. Um, some bigger than others. Um, it's all relative. But once the poop hits the fan, you got to deal with it. So it's not, it's not a discussion. It's not a sitting around the fire and feeling sorry for, it, for, for, for one another. It's, it's on to the next. Mm. You know, so, you, you know, it's, it's, there's certain things that, that go without explanation. And that's sure. one of those. Because if I explain to you like, yo, this is where we're at and yo, we're in deep trouble. Now I'm going to have kids, family, wife, brothers, sisters, whatever is looking at me like, oh, we, we screwed. Nah, it's happened. I'm here. I'm the, the, the 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 man of the the man of the house. I, I need to provide. I need to do what I need to do. But how do you not punch the wall in frustration? To be like, God damn it! Jeez. Somebody, ugh, give me my money. You know what I mean? You realize when you're playing at a certain level yeah. Yeah. that this is what comes. Sure. With being at that level, with yeah. playing at that level. So as much as there may be times where you're punching the air in happiness and joy when things is all good. Yeah. There are times where when things get rough, it gets very rough. Sure. So, you know, you, you've got to balance it out. Sure. So you can't, you can't be, you, you know, disappointment. Obviously, it's a disappointing thing. It's disheartening. But you can't be upset about it. Yeah. Just it's on to the next year. Let's, let's keep it moving. This is what it is. This is what's, what's happened. Uh, we understand the game that's being played. Um, I'm not a pawn. It's not, it's not the the mindset that, 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 I'm, that I play at. I'm a king and yeah. I move like a king. How but very stoic. Yeah. 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 That's just, there is no other way because we can all sit and, and feel sorry for ourselves. But we understand yeah. there's, there's, a, there's a game out there that's being played. We're not just going to be shooed away. We're not just going to be knocked off the chessboard. Sure. We're here. G. We're mm. not going anywhere. Mm. But um, a while ago, you were based in Dubai. Why, why come back? What, what, what was so significant for you to Excuse come me. back? Because all of us have made Dubai a holiday destination and it's a place where we'd love to stay, you know? Why, why leave that for this? They know Shisanyama's in Dubai. I struggle to <laughs> <laughs> um, You know, you, you get tired of the Wagyu and the Kobe beef. Mm. No, it's... it's Home is where the heart is. Mm. You know, it's, it's, as much as it sounds super cliched, you realize when you're living in another man's land, and not just Dubai, could be anywhere in the world, any hemisphere, you realize that you are 
not from there. It's, I'm not, I'm not, oh. I don't know mm. how else to say. As, as much as it's, it's, it's great, the best amenities, it's a wonderful country. Mm. Um, it gave me an opportunity to reinvent myself, mm. um, to, to get back at it. Mm. Um, you know, I owe, I owe the UAE a huge um, debt of gratitude. If it mm. wasn't for, for me being in their system, um, for me being able to operate the way I did, I wouldn't be here today. But that being said, South Africa, there is no place like South Africa in the world. Mm. It's the only place where I feel like a first grade citizen. It's the only place where I feel like this is home. Mm. Uh, it's the only place where I feel like there's order. Mm. There is order. You yep. know, people, people like to, to, to try and downplay what's happening in, in our country, but you know, you, you, have to, you have to realize that this is all we have going for us. And when you, you guys have traveled extensively, mm. whenever you fly back from wherever, wherever in the world you are, especially if you're connecting in a place like mm. um, Dubai International, Hong Kong International, um, um, Heathrow, uh, London Heathrow, um, JFK. Mm. If you look at the caliber of people flying and the, 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 the amount of people flying into South Africa. Paul, so sorry. Here, yeah. Dane, can you hear the... Yeah, definitely. Can you hear it on the mics? You said there's no place like home. And I still say that. <laughs> <laughs> there is no place like South Africa. Every, everyone who leaves South Africa always says that as well. They always say, ish, it's not the same. It's not the same. People are way more friendly. Yeah. You know. Quality of life. Yeah. Yeah. Much, much better. I don't care where in the world you are. Mm. Your rands are not affording you that lifestyle that um, Shred would here. Mm. And if you look at a lot of, and that's one of the things we need to, to, to actively work on. We have a lot of expats out in the world, mm. Africa, Europe, um, Australasia, Asia, South America, North America. We need to actively pursue them to come back. Mm. Mm. Those skills, um, the energy they bring, the love that they have, because they have the love for the country. I mean, you mm. watch, if you tune into a lot of sporting events, Anywhere in the world, you wonder how the hell are there so many South Africans in the stands? Mm. We've just seen the cricket. Yeah. We've seen the rugby. Mm. Besides people traveling from South Africa, South Africans are well spread um, when it comes to, um, to, to their position in the world. Mm. But they take a lot of these skills because, you know, they become disheartened, once again, disenfranchised with what's happening in South Africa. You know, um, the levels of crime, um, corruption, whatever it is that, that people will complain about, um, lack of opportunities, but we need to actively pursue our people to come back and to, to reintroduce those skills that they've taken out, bettered mm -hmm. out in the world to come and build our country. Because you look at most successful countries, that's what's happened. Yeah. A lot of people have gone into first world countries, from third world countries, yeah. developed skill, um, um, been exposed, um, got a good level of experience. Mm. And they come back and they, they create your, your UAEs of this world. Mm. Mm. They create your Indias of this, the uh, modern Indias of this of this world. Yeah, the, and, and the, we can do that. You say UAEs of this world, the, the Emiratis. Mm. The if you if you're from uh, the UAE, you are looked after. Mm. You know, if you're an Emirati, um, and I think I think we we could do a little bit of that in our in our country. Can too. I tell you? Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Nah. The only thing that these countries, UAE being one of mm. them, get right, and why they are able to do it, and why we are lagging behind is because of vision. We have a lack of vision in this country. Mm. Mm. We all need to have that, that one, that North star that we all look to, to say, that's it. That's the direction. We all, we all pushing in that direction. Mm. We all want the same thing. We want peace, prosperity. We want to leave uh, to, 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 sorry, to, 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 to amongst ourselves, to, to just grow together. Mm. Sure. Now we all have different, different views, different opinions, different roots to what that final product will be. Mm. If we can have that same vision, mm. if that route can be one route, game change. Mm. Uh, it's just, you know, we all, have, we all have different avenues to the same result. That's why we have sure. politics um, dividing us. That's why we have opinion and prop propaganda dividing us. If mm. we could get rid of all that periphery stuff and we just said, this is what it is. I mean, we use um, one of the biggest, well, the biggest North Star we had in this country was um, the rainbow, the rainbow nation. Yes. 94. Mm. Mm. At that time, that was what everyone wor uh, worked towards. Sure. We need to, we need to, to, to get, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be a rainbow nation, 
but we need that one thing. And right now, that thing is peace and prosperity in this country for everybody. Mm. You're on a mission. You're on a journey. Yes, sir. Um, before you get to this journey that you're on now and the mission, what was it like in the younger, in the younger years? Who was Tutuzani Zuma between the ages of 20 and 30? What was he looking at? I mean, that's, we get, we get a lot of those kinds of listeners. Yeah, sure. So what was driving him at, at that, in that, in his, in that time? Yeah, I'll, I'll respond to that, but there's, there's a, a point that you, a question that you actually touched upon and I, I don't want us to lose it. Mm -hmm. Um, you mentioned stoic and, and what, yes, yes. What, what drove me to having a stoic approach to the way Correct. I, I, I live my life. And I think it's, it's, it's life, life's experiences. It's being born in, in, in a different place, not in, in my homeland, South Africa. Uh, being born in Mozambique, moving around a lot. I mean, I've moved a lot. I mean, just even in, in, in the past five years why i'm a nomad yeah. i i i i don't believe in in staying stuck um i don't believe in someone placing me in a corner you know i always um with the risk of of sounding like a broken record i always quote my old man um it's become i'm sure one day it'll become one of the african proverbs. sayings or proverbs mm -hmm. um and it goes as following as follows, sorry. You okay. cannot corner a man that's born in a Rondavel. <laughs> and that's, that's basically the, 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 the life that, 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 that I, I live. You mm. know, you're not going to place me in a box. Mm. You're not going to hamstring. You know, you're not going to get my, my feet stuck in the mud feeling like I can't move. Mm. I'm better than that. Um, so the, the, the being stoic is an experience and, you know, the, um, me being a product of the environment of being a nomad, mm. which came with being exiled in the political situation of that time. Mm. And what has driven me um, over the period of the ages of 20 to 30 and, and beyond is the hunger to succeed. We, you know, we, we, we are exposed to a wealth of information, good and bad. Um, we, we see what people are doing in the world, young people, old people, um, you know, this pop culture out there that drives us, um, musical, music lyrics, mm. um, uh, movie stars, um, politicians, business people. Um, we all want to live a certain quality of life. And the only way to live that quality of life is to work. And this is the point that a lot of our, our, our youngsters are missing. You are not going to, not everyone is going to be an Instagram star, an Instagram, mm. Instagram model. Not, not everyone's going to be a social media um, maverick where you start something and you know you become the next Kylie or the next Logan or the next Joe Rogan. Mm. You know, it doesn't happen for everybody. You might find yourself in that system somewhere doing well, but to get to to those desired numbers is not gonna happen for, for everybody. But at the same time, if you're not willing to roll your sleeves up and put in the hard yards. It's not going to happen. Mm. So 20 to 30 hours grinding, I sacrificed a lot. I sacrificed um, time with my family, the holidays. I was working, I was traveling. Um, I, was, I was learning the ropes. I was in, in, in warehouses, packing boxes. I was in sales teams um, in the early period of, of, my, of my 20s, learning the ropes. So when I got to a certain place, it becomes a bit more difficult to bamboozle mm. uh, me. Um, and, you know, it's not just me, but it's, I'm speaking from first, first person, but it's, it's a position you find yourself in where you've learned the elements of, of what business is about. You mm. know, you're never going to know everything. You know, there are people that are, are super sharp out there and there's also sharks out there, but equip yourself with enough to know that, hey, this guy's trying to pull a fast one on me mm. or I've seen this movie before. This is how it goes. Let me step back. Or, okay, this is, it's time to go in for the kill, you know, so the killer instinct that you develop. So, 20s to 30s, I was honing in those experiences and those skills. And I'm grateful for it. I was exposed to the higher level of, of, of the high frequency of doing business. I, yeah. I met, I met some, some, 
some giants in the business space, locally, internationally. Um, I, I met so the, the biggest risk takers. Mm. I've met people that have had it all and lost it all and made it back again. I've met the ones that haven't, have fallen by the wayside. You know, how to learn from those experiences and, 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 and to, to progress in life. Being able to take the shots. Because as you start climbing, and you guys will see that as well. You'll see from your comments, not just in, in the social media space, but from people that you've come up with, that you've grown up with. The comments will come. You know, as you start um, getting to a point, I mean, we, we had some, some discussions all fair about a certain tattoo. You know, won't get into it because we don't want to remind people. You know, <laughs> My tattoo. Dang, you don't run it <laughs> oh, um, but as, 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 you, as, as it grows, because I'm sure you said it and you meant it, but it's come quicker than you would have expected, expected it to, yeah. mm. which, is a, which is a beautiful thing. Mm. Sure. But I mean, once again, that is an, it's, 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 it's an example of your success coming in via a different channel, you saying things, putting out in the, in the social sphere, in the atmosphere, and now it's come back to bite you in a good way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it just shows the level we of, of progress. Mm. But you know, there's a negative side um, of it where people will be like, ah, these guys think they're special. Mm. You know, um, why them? Why not us? There's a whole bunch of, of other people who are in there because this is not just a podcast. You guys mm. are generating content and it's important content mm. that is being disseminated to, to a crowd that, you know, a lot of people don't have access to. They don't mm. have reach to. So it's an important platform, sure. not just for your audience, not just for you, but for, for myself as well and the, the people that are given the opportunity to come in and sit and have these sorts of conversations. Sure. Yes. Yeah. And um, now the mission you're on. Uh, what is it? The mission is to destroy the opposition. B. Take <laughs> them full stop. One by one. Full stop. <laughs> Next. Next. <laughs> Come through. Next. Yeah. Because, okay, and on, on your road that, you, that you've had, what do you think would, be, would have been your, what's been the biggest challenge? Your big, everybody's got ups and downs, but what's been like the biggest, the biggest challenge where you look back, you're like, flip. I don't know how I got through that, that tornado. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think the biggest challenge was not, I think it's two-pronged, was not taking risks earlier in my life. Sure. Yeah. But at the same time, not believing that I could. Mm. Sure. That was, those were my biggest challenges. Why do you think you didn't believe that you could? Not because you look out there and we're living in a, in a world where it was close to what is it now? Eight billion people. Yeah. Um, it's a scary place. Yeah. There are a lot of people doing weird and wonderful things, um, interesting things, hitting levels that we've never seen before, especially now. Mm. Um, conversations over, t over time, there's people that, that shut you down. Mm. I mean, we've, we've been told that you'll never amount to nothing. Mm. We've, I mean, I won't say you guys, but mm. we've had people, whether yeah. it was in the school system, Family, yeah. you know, people just passing by, having conversations, um, you know. But those are, are factors that drive you. 100%. People who, people who have always told me that you can't do something, I, I always put it in my pocket for saying, thank you for noting me for doing something that you don't see me doing, but mm. I'm going to show you that I can. And then, for example, now, when, when, when did you get to that realization that you're like, stuff it, I'm, I'm going for it. At what age, mm. as an example? Yeah, because... I feel like in my 20s, that was something that my later 20s, later. Mm. Okay. Where, when people started to, to make the comments of saying, <laughs> you're not supposed to be doing this. The fact that you even considered me for doing this was, was enough of an answer 100%. for me. You know, mm. the ability that I have to be in this position is enough for me to know that I can succeed. You know? From my side, it was late 20s as well. Yeah. That's why I say I wish it would have happened earlier. Sure. Mm. Yeah. I wish it would have been yeah. in my early 20s, late teens, not even early 20s. Yeah. It was my late 20s but as well. That's because we're so dependent mm. on, on the people around us still. In your, in your younger years, like you can't really break that mold sometimes, you know what I mean? But that boils down to self-belief. Yeah. You, be, you, know, you, don't, you don't believe in yourself to do so. That's why I say. Sure. And that's one of the things that, I, that, I, that I'll always speak about is we need to, and the self-belief comes a lot from other people believing in you. Sure. You know, you'll only, because some people can do it where it's like, yo, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. I've got this, I can do it. Mm. And you know, respect to them. But some people need that person to say, yeah, we see something in you. Sure. Mm. And I was one of those people where that self-belief came from people saying, this is also which has formed part of my new journey, which is a political yeah. journey. Mm. Once again, 
in my early 40s, late 30s, early 40s, is people that have said, we believe in you. Yeah. So now I'm having that, that same moment in my, in my late, yeah. late, uh, late 30s, early 40s. And I'm like, okay, let's go. Where? So it's happening, you know, it's happening again. Mm. It's happening again. <laughs> <laughs> when, you know? when you told your, your dad though, you said, Pops, listen, you know, because that's always the hardest conversation, you know, for, yeah. for any man, I wanna, African, South African. I want to take over the family business. Like, I, I want to be here. Like, Dad, I want to take over the family business. Uh, Pops. What, was that, what was that conversation like with you and Pops? Eh? Was it behind closed doors? Was it just a general, he heard about it? Or did you go to him and say, listen, Dad, this is what I want to do in my life? So it's, 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 first, it's not a family business. <laughs> it's, it was just coincidental um, on his side and on my side as well uh, at this point. But the conversation was, was more of a, of a courtesy. Mm. Like, yo, man, if you see me out there doing things, saying things, know that this is where it's coming from. Sure. This is what it's about. And I hope that you can see things yeah. the way they need to be seen. But if you don't, it's all good. You know, yeah. this is me in my mind mm. Mm. before I have the conversation. Yeah. And that's... That's the way that I, that I approached it. Mm. So in no way was he either going to be the make or break of, of what decision, him or anyone else, mm. of what decision that, 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 yeah. that I was making. Yeah. The life that I've lived is, if I set my mind to it and I believe that I'm, 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 I'm able to do it, sure, I'm going for it. And I don't need anyone else to tell me. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, there'll be the same people to say, I look at this clown. You know? mm. He thought he had it all figured out. Look at you now. Mm. You know? And that's the risk that it comes with. Mm. Big risk, big reward. Mm. But right now, I'm telling myself, this is one of the biggest risks that not just myself, anyone has taken. Mm. This is a traditional political space yeah. in South Africa that hasn't been broken. Wow. And we're about to be the ones yeah. that are going to break it. Why? Why? Why this journey, man? What I makes mean, you different though? Yes. Like, what it's makes just, you whole? Just, yeah. For me, I'm, I'm just like, you know, it's, it's, this is a massive service. Yeah. To be to be in the space if you if you if you do it properly you sure. know it's a huge service agreed and I mean I, I don't want to be a negative Nancy or whatever but I mean you you you've reached a stage where you've had media backlash sure. people saying shit and a lot you know, of stuff coming on. at you yeah. now you you want you you want to still serve and my question is why 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 would you want to do that? Why are you stepping into, into the space? I'm a very ambitious person. Mm. Right. I think ambition and drive is what's gotten me to this point. But that ambition and drive is for one simple thing, change. Mm. Now, I don't want to be that person sitting on a couch or a uh, passenger seat and complaining about things because we know those people. Mm. We've complained about stuff. Sure. There's things that we don't like. Yeah. And we see things that are wrong. But we're not... We're not, you know, we're not stepping forward. We're not stepping up and saying, you know what? We're going to take charge of the situation. This needs to change and this is how we're going to change. it. The more, the merrier. So from my side, the, 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 the drive and the ambition is to say, well, I don't see anyone else actively pursuing this change. Sure. There are a lot of people acting out there, no doubt. Mm -hmm. We tune in, there's people saying all sorts of, 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 of wonderful things. Um, there are people saying all sorts of dangerous things. Mm -hmm. You tune into Parliament TV, it's a circus. You know, no disrespect to people sitting in that space, but you're doing us a disservice. Mm. There's serious issues in this country. Yeah. All we hear is talking. Mm. All we hear is deliberations. All we hear is debating. Mm. Question and answer. Mm. Guys, we know what the problems are. Mm. We're the solutions. Let's deal with them. Let's, let's, let's take those, 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 those hard decisions. You know? Talking about it is cool. Having the conversations is great. We have it in our own spaces. We have it on platforms like these, dinner tables, taxi ranks, poolside, whatever it is, at a bar. Mm. But why are we not moving these, 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 um, these ideas from conversation to implementation? Sure. And that's where I feel the trick is being missed. So I'm like, yo, I put my hand up. Let me, let me give it a shot. The insults will come. Yeah. Um, if they've, if they've, what's the worst that can happen? They've done everything. Yeah. I've been accused of all sorts of things. What are the barriers, the what are the barriers to entry into the space? Into the space... They've put up a whole host of things that keep people out of the system. Yes. And you look at the politics of this country, you look at 
the patriarchal setup of this country, um, you look at the dynamics that face us from just the population and how it's segmented. The barriers would be, in this case, age, ah. which shouldn't be, but it's there. Hey, you're too young, like everything else. You shouldn't be here. What do you know? Mm. This is politics. You need to be experienced. Mm. You know, you need a wealth of coming up from youth politics into, I mean, from some guys start the political journey in high school, the, the city council, junior councils and stuff. And, you know, respect to them because it's not an easy thing to do. It's a lot of time spent and effort into um, tertiary level, whatever po political formations that may be there. Um, SRCs to, uh, sorry, um, student representative councils mm. to um, the different party political fo formations within university. Then to your youth leagues of the different parties, then to mother body politics. By the time you get there, you are in your late 50s, 60s, and your career starts in politics. That's a bunch late of 50s, cow 60s. manure. Yeah. Yes, that's bro. That's a mm. bunch of cow manure. Yeah. Late 50s, 60s? No, you're going to find me, chief, in the Caribbean, yeah. chilling. B. Yeah. Mm. So that's, that's the main on barrier a, there. on an orange juice. <laughs> so the barrier is you're not able to do it. You shouldn't do it because you're not old enough to do it. But how old is Duduzani Zuma? What's your age? My age. I'm 41. 41. Bro, I'm 41. That's yeah. what I'm saying is the biggest problem. Because for me, before 41. doing my I'm research. I'm a grown ass man. That's what I'm saying. Before doing my research, all <laughs> in all, when, when people say you're too young, you're thinking 29. 28. 30. 30, right? Yeah. But look anywhere else in the world. Duduzani is the perfect candidate of age matters, right? Where, where you're seeing him in his 40s and you're thinking, okay, this guy actually can bring something to the table. But the way the media's portrayed it is that you just finished varsity, bro. Do you know what you I know, mean? The, 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 the interesting thing about that, Josh, is even at 28, 30, yeah. let's go. There we go. Yeah. Let's go. What's, what's stopping, stopping sure. what's, what's, what's stopping us and around on, you know, what's stopping us from, from getting involved in, in sure. the highest levels of doing things at the age of 28, 30? The world sure. has changed. That's mm. it. You look at the most successful people. I mean, did anyone say that about, oh, he's too young. Mark Zuckerberg, when yeah. he hit mm. his heights at the age of 25, 26. Yeah. No one sure. was saying, nah, he's too young. What is he doing? He was welcome. Why? Why? Yeah. Because he had the goods. The greatest emperor of the ancient Egyptian culture. What was he like? 10, 11, Tutankhamun. Really? When he took over and he Gosh. ran until 20, but he was one of the greatest. But it's, 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 it's one yeah. of those things where the discussion on, on age in, from a, a leadership perspective sure. comes with experience. 100% and experience is needed. Yeah. We're not taking away from that. But you cannot place a monopoly on experience by saying that you're only experienced when you're an old man or an old woman. Mm. That's a bunch of rubbish. That's true. There you experience that are, by doing. 100%. You've got people yeah. that are 50, 60 that are not as experienced as, as, as you and I sitting in this room. Yeah. Yeah. They've been here for, for, for twice, if not three times, um, the, the length of our, of, of our lives on, on this planet. They don't know how to use Excel. They don't. <laughs> Excel. You know what I mean? Like it, no, no, 100%. No, I but you. I mean, the, 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 the simple things. Yeah, yeah, sure. But the time has moved. You look at at industry and then you look at success from a period of whenever the, 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 the modern economy started due to industrialization. Mm. The people that are most successful now are no longer the older people. Mm. You know, you're not known to be a baron or a tycoon. Um, you don't have to be 60 years old mm. sitting in a suit and tie. Yeah. There's people sitting in Silicon Valley in their mid-teens. Mm. Rolling around on electric scooters yeah, yeah. in Dubai, sitting in meetings, talking about True. figures that most people dream about. Yeah. True. You look at the South African political setup, most people sitting in um, positions of power, and I'm talking about from a parliamentary perspective, don't have business experience. Mm. And that's why we see some, some of the issues popping up. And it's not like there's people that are very well qualified, yeah. doctors and, and everything, but the experience that they need to run the modern world yeah. is not there. They've, 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 they've outlived that time. Sure. Mm. And we just, we need to understand that. So, so the, 20, the, 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 the 28, 30 year yeah. old, they're good to go, bro. With, with, the, way, with the way you campaigning um, now is as an independent, right? So what, what's your approach to, to ministers, 
um, and people in power to run various departments because you don't have a cabinet. So how will you? How does it work? How will it work? Yeah. Who would you? Who would you recruit? And how would you recruit these people? So the independent tag. There's two. There's independent, as in a one man, one woman show. People place their faith in you. You do your thing, and then there's an independent party, which is a break away from the traditional political party. So we'll be going the independent party route. Sure. Okay. I think there's a lot of people think that we just want to go sit in parliament listen to a bunch of mumbo jumbo like we've got nothing better to do mm. once we get there we're there to make changes we're not there to play around we're not playing games we're not messing around with 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 um the crown jewels mm. we're there to do what needs to be done so the way i see it is south africa incorporated south africa as a country needs to be run on a corporate basis there is no other way around Around it on a on a corporate basis. What do you mean by that? So, if you look at governance right now, um, if you look at deployment, I'm not going to get into it. And ah, cater mm, deployment mm, mm, and mm. you know, <laughs> comrades. No, <laughs> you got the whole accent and all. That. Yeah, do you mean we need to switch it up here? Because if you can't if you can't just speak mm, about uh, cater deployment, then you won't have the other person on the other side of the bench saying, "Now, nah, this these comrades, they 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 need to go." Mm -hmm. If you just look at these. They can't even say cater. They, say, they pronounce it cadre. Um, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, so um, we need to, we just need to have a bit of fun with it, mm. you know, sorry. But if you look at the way we place people into positions, it's not the best of breed. We need to have the best of breed. We need to have people that are, are relevant to the current situation now. Mm. The people fighting this war, this economic war, need to be people that understand the situation for what it is today, not yesterday, not yesterday yeah. or, or yesterday. So the the process of of bringing people on board is it's an open process. It's it's, it's people that are are capable, are, are willing and able, and have that experience within that space. And we're not talking about experience because they're sitting at at the the tail end of their lives, but experience from being boots on ground. You know. So if you look at simple example, if someone is 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 in the space of of, of crime fighting or law enforcement. No, oh, you better have been in the trenches. You better ah. know how to, to, to lock and load when it's time to lock and load. We're not saying that you're going to be on the, on the ground front line, even, if, um, even, even though you should be. But you, 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 know, you can't be someone that doesn't understand what, what, what um, um, security, what intelligence is about. You know, not everything is textbook. I see, because yeah. um, sometimes like the way, the way it's structured now is you can have the transport minister Becomes. switching roles, becoming the sports and yes. agricultural minister, and then he can be <laughs> the minister of police High rotation. and throw, yeah. him, throw him into finance yeah. too. Yeah. So it shouldn't be happening. Yeah. You need to so have if people. You have that corporate structure. So how, would you, it, yeah. how would you recruit? If I, if you had a position open and you had a minister of finance, Available. How would yep. you recruit the perfect candidate for that? Open process Get and we'll headhunt. Yeah, we'll headhunt if mm. you need to. You yeah. headhunt and say, okay, the, these are the people, these are the guys that are, these are the, the men and women that are doing great things. Uh, where they still be within the, because there are some, some great people still in mm. the public sector that have not been given the, the opportunity. So not, not necessarily, you know, going and, and, and just shaking the, 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 the private sector up. Within, within the, 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 the public sector as well. It's just people haven't been given the opportunity sure. to showcase their skills because of the traditional way of deployment. Sure. Do so you, just going best of yeah. breed, people that are experienced, people that have, 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 have turned around um, company situations, mm -hmm. departments, whatever it is. You've got the goods, let's go. And if you don't deliver, you're out. It's not going to be a long story, you know, and mm -hmm. we, need, we, need to, we need to get over this thing where, you know, hiring and firing is now, is... Is a headache. Mm. Mm. Yes, workers' rights need to be protected. I'm all for that. But I cannot have, or you cannot have a problem with me. You employ me. I'm doing all your, your, your post-production. Mm. Yeah. We have an issue. I stole your mics. You found it in, in, the, in my boot in the back of my car. And you're like, yo, I can't have you. I'm firing you. The next thing, we had CCMA. And mm. it goes my way for whatever reason. And now we're sitting here, we're sitting in the office, we're looking at each other. You guys know that I took from you, I know that I took from you, but there's nothing you can do about it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's yeah. just an uncomfortable thing. It mm. sucks. You need to be able to say, dude, if you're not able to deliver, if you don't have the goods, 
next better man, next better woman. Yeah. We need to really get to that point. Yeah. Will we ever get to that point? It's in coming. The next, yeah, I think. Josh, it's coming. You, We're going to yeah. get it then. Yeah. We're going to be those people that will, will, will implement these, yeah. these changes. It has to have, there is no other way. If we're going to succeed as a third world country dressed up as a first world country, which is South Africa, mm. if we think we're going to get to, to the, cause look, we, 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 we're very well placed in the world. Mm. Very, I like to think we're still very well respected, mm. you know, in Africa as part of the African Union, in static as, 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 you know, a leading country um, economically, not just in, in static, but in Africa as well, our top three economies. If you look at G20, you know, we sit there, we, we used to be in a special invi invitee at the G7, but Japan said, nah, not those ninjas, we just get... <laughs> let's get some. Let's get someone else because they don't have their story in check. Yeah, we sit as, as, as you know. We sit in the bricks set up. So we have the best of the eastern and the western world. We have our African brothers and sisters riding with us. We are on the southern tip of Africa. So when it comes to trade, when it comes to to resource, when it comes to 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 technical know how, we've got it. Mm. How do we get to that next level? We just need to. We need to switch it up, and it needs to come with with some serious decision making. And people need to be. Heads need to be chopped. Simple as that. People need to get fired. You're not, mm -hmm. you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Out. Oh, there's, there's a queue of people that are, are waiting for these opportunities. Give a person an opportunity sure. to, 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 to showcase their talents. Mm. I think it's, 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 I agree, it's easier said than done, but it's doable. Mm. And we're going to be the ones that will do it. Yeah. Do you, think, do you think there are people right now in the system who want to make a change but can't make a change for specific reasons what i mean by that is let's say josh and i wanted to join the government uh, do a government job and this government job is, is primarily focused on service delivery and we want to deliver the service but in the system there's some barriers that say brother you 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 actually can't deliver the service settle down <laughs> yeah settle we we're here to make money do you think there are some people there who are really keen on making the change they definitely are. And they're able to do, but they are. Just like in the private sector, the public sector, mm. there are people that are out there that do not want to see things changing because it suits yes. their narrative. It suits their conditions. Because now if Chucks and, 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 and Josh come along and they come with a new wave of doing, thing, mm. doing things, um, simple things, cost-saving um, uh, measures in, in, a, in, a, in a government office, um, something as simple as the materials you're using for furniture, you know, stop using wood environmentalism. It costs more. Let's use, you know, some, some, some new age materials, the simple things. We're talking about the simple things. Simple people thing. become uncomfortable when you have those conversations mm. because they don't understand. So there's a point of understanding that leads to resistance. Like, what is this guy saying? If he does this, it's going to make me look bad. Mm. Hell no, I'm not doing it. As I a matter see. of fact, He's got to go. And you'll find most of that, they call it institutional memory. There's a lot of good people out there that have been there for a long time that have that experience, but it can also work in a negative way where they feel threatened. If Josh does the job and he looks good, that puts my job under threat. So we're sitting on it. That's why you find I issues of unspent budgets, um, you know, being sent back and you're in a time where we need to be getting things done and you just holding on to, mm. to the budget. Mm. No. And then the second part is people are afraid to make those decisions. So they'd rather be that person saying, hey, we didn't spend this money um, because we, don't know, we didn't have the time to or we don't, didn't know how to or whatever it is. They'd rather have that situation than spending it and having the Auditor General or some NGO or an opposition party saying to them, you didn't spend the budget. These are the reasons you didn't spend the budget. Mm. You were afraid to spend the budget. You didn't know how to spend the budget. So they'd rather not make that hard decision and deal with the consequences, um, consequences than making that decision and, you know, coming under fire. Yes. Oh. What now? You know, I see, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just a, it's a massive mountain here for you. You know what I mean? No, no, not for me, for us. For us. For us. It's, we, a, it's, a massive, it's only going to work if we all come yeah, together, yeah. you know, and, once again, making a change, just because you're politically conscious doesn't mean mm. now, or politically active, doesn't mean now you want to be a mayor or councillor or minister. No, you're just doing what you need to do 
within your environment to make a change. Sure. In your ecosystem, the neighborhood that you live in, the the the, the business that you run, yeah. how you treat your employees, how you deal with 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 with, with clients, customers. You know the level of respect because we've lost respect in this country mm. for each other. True. Mm. The level, the the respect level is 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 down the drain. People yeah. don't know how to greet. People don't know how to speak to each other. Mm. And if you look at our, our parliament, I keep going back to it because that's a microcosm microcosm for what our society is. If this is what our leaders are doing at that level, what's the rest of our society looking yeah. like? Because parliament sometimes gets unruly, bro. With the fights in yeah, Parliament. I've also seen in Ghana, it's like it's that. It's that everywhere. Even in, mm. even in, in the, the UK. UK. Yeah, no, the House of Commons. They're throwing chairs at each other. Yeah, at, yeah. At the House of Commons. Yeah. That happens a lot. It shouldn't be happening. Because yeah. at the end of the day, there's a decorum that needs to be respected. Mm. We're all human beings. Yeah, you take away the political parties. You take mm. away the colors, the banners that you carry. Yeah. We all live next to each other. Sure. We all grew up amongst <laughs> each other. Mm. There is no reason why we should be having such... Bitter arguments sure. when we're all from the same, we cut from the same clock. Yeah, we've all got the same mission. We've all got the same mission. Yeah. We do. Wow. We all want to better the, the, the plight for, for, of the poor people. We all want to, to get the education system sure. to the right levels, health system. We all want crime to come down. That's all, how are we not getting to that point? Yeah. We're talking about it. We're fighting about it. We're grabbing each other by the collar and it's not being done. That <laughs> says that there's something wrong with our curriculum. Our, our current um, sure. uh, ruling class. It actually doesn't make sense. Like, yeah. why why can't we support um, the the why can't the parliament support the president like the rest of us support the Springbok team? Yeah, you know, because we all want, them we all to want win. the captain to you know to, to carry so, us out. Yeah, yeah, who knows what's going on? But um, yeah, um, for a it's, person for a person who's listening. Who's uh, our age? Maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit older, up until <laughs> let's say thirty-five years old, or anybody for a person who's listening. In the simplest way possible, how can they help in making a difference? Mm. I ask this question because it might seem like a, a, a simple response, but people don't do anything. People yeah. are sitting on their hands right now. Correct. So, what is the simplest <clears throat> way a person can? Can, can do to make a difference uh, besides voting. Voting yep. is a different it's, it's, story. It's, it's, yeah. it's only one pillar and it's the smallest pillar. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. So, so what, can, what can they do? Like, you've got your TikTokers, you've got, you've got all, everybody doing stuff. You know, you got them also complaining. But I think of this George Floyd incident um, in America. Mm. First thing Oaks do, they what, they turn their profile pictures black and you know yeah. you know remember when they Bend went the Black knee. Tuesday or Always whatever Bend the knee Blackout Bend Fridays the knee, Blackout yeah. Friday yeah. all of that stuff yes they do they do they do get involved yeah. but in a more serious space in the state of the nation and country yeah. what can they do what's the first step the first step is standing up and being counted mm -hmm. the first step is you've got a voice there are a lot of people that have the majority of this country are voiceless, mm -hmm. marginalized, voiceless people who will just go with what's happening in the country because they don't have a choice. They are meandering down that river. <laughs> you come with meandos, I come you, with meandos. <laughs> they're meandering down that pops. river because they have no other option. Mm. What is given to them is what they'll take sure. because that's it. So what people need to do is they need to stand up. They need to take it from just the point of conversation, the point of complaining to the point of action. Mm. You know, voting, registering to vote and voting for political party. That's great. That's part of our, mm. our um, um, constitutional setup. That's all wonderful. But politics is not the only thing we have going for us. Mm. We have people that are in the sporting space, in the, in the social media space, in, 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 the, in the creative arts that unfortunately are, not, unfortunately are not using the power that they have for the greater good. What's keeping them quiet? The bag. If they say something and the bag is taken away from them. Money. They're scared. Yes. Scared. You're afraid. Yes. The whole lot of you. Yeah. The only time that you guys stand up is when your pockets are being hurt. The only time you guys stand up is when COVID comes and, you know, you're shutting down highways. And you want to be now seen. It's when your bread is affected. Mm. That's a problem we have. We need, to make, we need to make everyone else's problem our problems. We have to take initiative and, and, and deal with, with everyone else's problems like it's our problems. Because what you know, we, 
we we can't be selfish because there's a, a certain level of 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 being selfish in this country where uh, if this thing is not affecting me, I'm not getting involved. Yeah. Only when it affects me now, all of a sudden, I'm finding my voice. Mm. I'm, and it's too late by then. Mm. So people need to sure. stand up and be counted. People sure. need to be more active. In your communities, in your schools, in your universities, in your, your places of, of, of work, your, your, your circles of influence, in your homes. Get the messaging right. Mm. If you're not going to be disciplined, if you're not going to be respectful to each other, if you're not going to um, address each other cordially, then we're wasting our time. Sure. Mm. Forget about the ballot. Forget about 2024 can come. There'll be whatever government that's set up. It's not going to make a difference. Mm. If you look at what's happened in the past, which will be 30 years next year, not much has happened. Mm. They've been the most illustrious political careers that have been built over the over time. The most respectable political um, profiles that have come to the fore. Mm. We're still lagging behind. South Africa has lost its position of, of respect on the globe. Mm. South Africa has fallen from being the, 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 the number one economy in Africa to number two, probably number three right now. Sure. After Nigeria, Nigeria and, Egypt, and the Naira. other countries coming up. Mm. Yeah. You know, we've, we've, we've lost respect when it comes to, um, to bargaining, to negotiating, to, to resolving issues. You know, we did well for ourselves when it came to resolving the issue of apartheid, but we're not able to do so else in the world and we've got no business doing so because we haven't resolved our issues yet. Mm. We have not been able to stabilize... Um, electricity and these are not complaints these are facts that we're placing on the table but we need to have solutions for those and we've got solutions you can speak to me about any of these topics i've got an idea of what needs to be done is it right is it wrong people will have to come up with a better better option mm. but as long as we're doing nothing about it and we're talking about it nothing's gonna happen so in your places in your spaces in your spheres of influence stand up start making the difference and all these small bits and pieces will eventually coalesce to a bigger change making in our mindsets and the rest is history. You're not going to need a Josh. You're not going to need a Tuduzani. You're not going to need a said politician from political party. South Africa will run itself. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, I just have one request for whoever, yeah, for, sorry, I have one request for when you, when you do become president. Uh, can we just have a... Well, the internet's coming for you. No. The, troll, the trolls is coming please, for you. Please, wow. can, please. <laughs> can, we, just like, can we have a... I'm like, I'm like, like, like can, we, can, we, can we please have a train track? Uh, just a railway system? Train track? From, oh, uh, like, like, a, like an underground... No, no, no just, you just know, like, like a how train? Yeah. But can we have one that runs from Joburg to Durban, please? Yeah, oh. speed rail. You know, that, so the, that will make the bullet my day. train. They were talking about it. Yeah, they, but we've been talking about it since I was five. <laughs> you know what I mean? Since you were five, <laughs> no one, no one's dug anything. No one's <laughs> sat there. We we bro, let us just yeah, finish we're, this. We're, yeah. still, we're fixing the piece. E3. We're putting. We're still digging, putting fiber in, messing up. Please, you know what I mean. Yeah. So uh, let's fix electricity yeah. first before we go there, I, please. I promise. Because now you underground coming from Durban, load shedding. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. Let's fix but, the small but things. Please, you know, once, once, once you fix the electricity part, guys, please, uh, can we have that train? Be no, you know, Josh is right. Let's 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 sort the simple problems yeah. out first. Let's perfect sorting out the potholes, the, the electricity, the small ones, boy. Um, sure. Issued, but every know. four years, I hear about potholes in electricity. Every yeah. four years. No, but also you you hear about all sorts of other things about. Nationalizing the Reserve Bank and, and, okay, and yes. land expropriation without compensation. These yes. are big things to do. Are they doable? Of course they are in a specific manner that's going to be beneficial to everybody. It cannot just be a smash and grab. But getting to your point, there have been feas feasibility studies done on um, a long haul bullet train or medium pace train between um, Gauteng and KZN, Johannesburg and, mm. and Durban. And because of the topography, uh, this is um, from, from, from the information that I, that I read. It's a very, the feasibility studies erred on the side of caution when it comes to, to budgets, mm. you know, in relation to what else is happening in the world. But, and so in happening in South Africa, but I do believe that it can and it, it, it will be done, but it needs willingness as well. Mm. So as an example, the simple things. We can't even put a BRT, a bus rapid transit system in the Johannesburg CBD. We've got issues of Ubers and actual the taxis. The, the taxis are the not going to allow you to do that. Though. But this is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So unless we, 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 we start 
we resolve those issues where, and once again, it, it, it leads back to a mindset where the willingness of our people, business people, members of society, community members, because um, now imagine building that, that train from Johannesburg to Durban. Let's say it was feasible. Mm -hmm. We start digging, you know, whoever's, um, whichever company is appointed to, to do the job, do so. How many business forums are you going to come across? Business forums? Yes. All the ones that are dealing with trucking? No, not even, just, just from, yeah. from the construction of the... the oh, there'll the be a lot, eh? Surely, because of the, yeah. 100%. Yeah. So. Is, it, is that a normal occurrence? No. No. Mm. Right. Do people from, from certain areas, should they get some sort of um, preferential treatment when it comes to job opportunities and, and, pref and, 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 and employment? 100%. But that cannot stop other people from coming and doing the job if, if the people are not capable of doing it in that area, number one. And number two, if the people in that area are not there to do so. Okay. You know, so you have issues, and I, and I mentioned the term business forums loosely because the model that they're using, I mean, there's very highly intelligent people who, who run and who populate business forums. But the way that they're doing things is in an unruly fashion. Mm. Mm. It's, not, it's, 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 not, it's not a normal thing. It's not, it's not normal in the sense that I can't be investing in doing a project of whatever nature. In, 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 in a certain area and the next thing a quantum pulls up guys with rifles rock up and, and say okay like, no, stop, we're your new partners boys mm, mm, mm. or else and it's like well this, that's not normal business practice and it shouldn't be so what happens is the people that invest will be like hell no we out it's out of control keep your, your, your project we're out of here and I can tell mm. you nothing will happen so that's going to happen from construction to, to mining companies to Healthcare, health, I mean, even in the, in the, in the healthcare space, I mean, providing of, of doctors and, and nurses, everything mm. is being highly politicized sure. and it shouldn't be. Sure. So let's deal with that mindset, that willingness to say, guys, are we all on the same page? Yeah. Yes, this is how we're going to do it. Mm. We're not going to interrupt. Whoever's appointed to do the job will do the job and let's get it moving. And yes, I get it. There's big budgets. Mm. Let's spread the wealth as well. So if it's a, a $10 billion project, you split it between five companies, four companies, mm. 10 companies. Then you'll see each. some serious competency there. 100 because and of competition. The competition. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Now exactly. you're giving it, and this creates a problem. Now you're giving it to, to one company, and then people are like, yo, what about us? Yeah. We're, not, you know, we're not trying to say anything, but that's a big <laughs> opportunity. And you know, the, the very same people that are getting those jobs are subcontracting us when we are more capable than it creates mm. this whole yeah. back and forth. Then the, the owner of the company has got four Lambos. You know, <laughs> during COVID. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a, there's a joke they always tell about politics in South Africa. And they said uh, there was a tender that went out for them to paint parliament, right? Have you heard it? No. Uh -uh. I don't know. So um, they say basically the tender went out and they asked people to quote for the tender. So there's a white guy's company who quoted and he said, yo, it'll be five bar to get this whole thing going again. And we'll paint it and get it sorted. Five million, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five oh, million, we paint this whole yo, place, plus we'll sort it, it out. We'll sort it's it out. sorted. Black guy says, listen, I can do this thing four million. Hey, Baba, Easy. Gee, four million. <laughs> four million, I'm in. I know, yeah. Aziz. <laughs> the Indian guy says, yo, listen, it's 10 million. <laughs> and I'll get this whole thing done. Oh, yeah. And the guy oh. says, why is it 10? He says, listen, I'll give the white guy five and we split the rest. Let's go. <laughs> Consider it. <laughs> you see now. You see yeah. now. So <laughs> that's how it works sometimes. <laughs> but unfortunately, it, it, but it shouldn't. It yeah. shouldn't be that way. Yeah. And we were having a, a brief discussion um, off air on you mentioned tenders when it's yeah. mm -hmm. And you know, I don't make this convers this conversation about politics and mm. and and supply chain. But I mean, since we're on that topic, if you look at the issue with with the tender system in this country, and this is my view, yeah, is it's yeah. very The propensity for theft is high because there's a lot of human involvement. Wherever there's corruption, wherever there's um, any sort of um, theft of, 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 of money from whoever, government, from, from, people in the, from investors in the private sector, it's people that's, that sit and connive. Mm. Take away that, that, that element of, of, of people colluding 
you get to a better point. Sure. So introduce a blockchain system, peer-to-peer. The only time that you'll have um, human involvement or interference is at the beginning when you have the framework of what needs to be done, plug it into the system. And at the end, when the, the opportunity is, is given out to, to the relevant companies. And you decide on how you spread that wealth. Mm. It's going to go to X amount of companies. This is the budget. Let's go. Oh. Now you don't have a, a you know, a, a board committee, an evaluation committee. Then there's the actual board. Then yeah. you got the chairman fighting with the CEO. Then there's a minister that comes and says, yo, what's happening yeah. here? Now that, you know, yeah. And it all, the backlog just keeps us stagnant. Sure. No development, no new infrastructure, yeah. uh, no new investment. Because people are like, yo, we can't even get out of the, start, the starting blocks. Mm. What, 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 what mumbo jumbo is this? Yes. Yeah. Um, true. Um, I'm just thinking about a, a, a thing like that. Um, it would work. Uh, I just hope, you know, we're able to move around those who were the human involvement so yeah. they can still keep their jobs. Otherwise, we're going to have another machine story, you know, <clears throat> IT. But is the machine, look, what, let's talk about AI. AI. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Um, there's a lot of uproar. Mm. Um, you know, artificial intelligence is going to take jobs. We're seeing there was a, and it's all over the show. Yeah. Corporate um, security. We've seen what's happened, what happened in Hollywood, the writers yes. strike, um, music, you know, it's happening. Sorry. And also influencers. Yeah, yeah. There's an AI influencer. Okay. Really? Yeah. You must check out Kim Zulu. I'll check that She's out. An, I haven't seen her. She is an AI influencer who... <laughs> Who, who, who's uh, got um, a boyfriend and um, literally, well, everything is, ver- is, is AI. So you can, it's like, it's a cartoon, guys. Yes. Oh, it's a cartoon. <laughs> yes, but because she's AI, she now, she's, she's got uh, sports um, But we don't follow influencers because of that. Bro. Yeah, but I'm saying she's got sports partnerships. She's got Puma. <laughs> but um, what's interesting is the way that she's shaped. Okay, there we go. Yeah. You see, that's why we put it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm just she saying. got the assets. She's, she's an influencer go, with an hourglass curve. Because, you know, sex sells. So yeah. that's, that's what go. they're going for. But to your point there, if you can make an AI influencer, you're now taking away your organic influencer's job. All right? Yeah, sure. In the sense that if you're a business, you can make 10 influencers you know and you proper you know mm. you can make 10 ai influencers who everybody's like oh ai ai and they, they get more followers wow. they 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 can work with your Excuse brand me. and ai yeah. sure. and now now your fake influencers are done what do they do you know what do you mean fake influence no well what i mean is uh your real influencers the real ones. Okay. sorry not your fake, fake? ones fake. Fake. Yo, 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 guys, hey, your I'm calling the real guys are real. real. <laughs> you're hey. real. You're With real. Your comment section. <laughs> Sorry. But <laughs> going to be lit. It's going to be lit if you're calling current influencers. Hey, what are you trying to say, man? I'm talking, man. No, I'm no, talking no. about the real no, influencers. No, no, no. Yeah. So your real influencers are now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah your, your, your real influencers are now in trouble. Yeah. They're going to have to think outside the box. Sure. But yeah. what is influence? What is what is an influencer? Because remember, when influencers, there's still people that are still trying to wrap their minds around what an influencer is mm. and the purpose of it, of them, you know? Yeah. Mm. As opposed to now you've got the, the AI version and what that means. So if you take it back and, and the, the one point that I want to make on, on the AI because mm. people are very doom and gloom about it. I think, it's, I think it's a beautiful thing. It's insane. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Is it creates opportunities for for people, more than people believe so. Mm. Um, and if you look at just what AI does, does for, um, for, for learning, educational purposes, um, security, for, for healthcare, it's, it's next level. You know, if you take it back, the different evolutions of um, uh, what, what the industrial revolutions, you know, the, the Talk about the, the fourth IR, mm, 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 you know, mm. um, you had industry, you had um, a whole bunch of stuff that came up. But we're talking about the technological part, the first, the origins of, 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 of what started and where we are, we are at now was the internet. You look at, at what the internet did at that time, people yeah. were very confused about what was happening. Yeah. What is this information available in the public domain? You, you know, you, you can just access it via... 
you know, a a a, 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 a landline, yeah, you know, yeah, um, at, 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 you know, and then where it's led to. So initially, the internet was read only. Mm. Um, now, now it's 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 interactive. It's interactive. Yeah. It's read write. It's 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 everything. Mm. You know, if it wasn't for the internet, we wouldn't be having this 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 podcast. Sure. True. If it wasn't for Wi-Fi, we wouldn't be having this podcast. Mm. Yes, there are some negatives to a lot that we speak about. Internet access to information is also ex- access to bad information. Mm. Mm. YouTube, you look at kids getting sucked into crazy things that they should not be exposed to. Sure. Mm. Mm. There is a negative to it. Mm. But the positive is what you guys are doing. Mm. You're able to, to, to generate content. You're able to get information out there to people that uh, are willing to consume it out of their own volition. Mm, sure. um, and you're able to give them good content well-deserved mm. content um, that is curated by, by yourselves. So when it comes to, 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 to AI, to blockchain, um, you look at even just when it comes to the monetary aspect of crypto, you know, mm. Mm. The, the, the origins of it and where we sit at now. You know, people want to wish it away, but, you know, digital currency is digital currency. Mm. Mm. You know, when you tap a card, there's a form of digital uh, currency. Sure. Mm. A credit debit card, digital currency. You do an EFT, it's digital. Mm. For you guys, for me, I'm still stuck. Yo, yeah. I'm still, I got some silver coins in my pocket. Mention, I didn't want to mention that. Some pearls, some, some seashells. I'm sorry, I didn't want to go down that road. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can trade with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You barter. You know, give me a lift. I'll pay you. Yeah. I'll pay you in some in some some pearls and some Look, seashells. Sure. Right? Yeah, no, that bank account no. story is, is <laughs> that bank account story is just too much. How many to years is it now? Sorry, yeah. it's uh, 2015. Was it so now? What are we in? 20 eight years. Yeah, 2023. Eight, eight, seven, eight years. Yeah. Wow. Um, but you know, so crypto, for an example, whether people like it or not, yeah. is the future. You can try and wish it away, just like AI. It's going to get to a point where. It will be the new standard. And if you now, didn't get involved early, unlucky. Tough luck. Yeah. Now, it also boils down to when you say AI and, and the threat of jobs, just mm. like um, robotics and, 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 and machines. But there's some people that will be in a position where they, they're, not, they're not turning over the goods quick enough. Yeah. You know, here's an example. You know, as an, an example of and, and I'll, I'll use myself, you know, so I'm, I'm not putting you guys on the spot, but you can, you're more than welcome to comment. Um, you've traveled. We've had some, some great offline discussions. Sorry, mm-hmm. great offline discussions. And um, whenever you are in different parts of the world, when it comes to immigration, something simple, mm-hmm. getting through um, the, 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 the immigration and customs. We look at our experience that we have here in South Africa compared to Places like Hong Kong, places like um, the UAE, and many other places. It's very digital. Sure. You know, most times you don't even need to speak to anyone. Yeah. You don't need to interact with anybody, mm. you know. And we, we love our people, but at some point, when convenience is overruled by human interference, mm. the way that human interaction sours your experience, mm. That's a problem. Mm. You just want to get there, do your thing. Am I here legally? Get my stamp, my scan, and I'm out. Mm. I don't want to be questioned up and down. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be made to, to wait when, you know, I'm here, someone is having a conversation with, with someone else. Mm. You know, like I'm, you know, just someone who's got nothing better to do. Mm. If I had the opportunity between a human experience at immigration and a digital one, Digital all the way. Imagine yeah. digital at home affairs. That's what I was thinking but right now. Imagine digital home affairs. At home the system affairs. cannot go down. It oh will not go down. Well, this, is, this is the point. Yes, we understand that. Yeah. And, mm. and at the end of the day, humans will not become obsolete because there's a lot of hands on mm. um, sure. um, um, opportunities and jobs that are still out there. So that's mm. not going to go away. It's just the way that the world is evolving. Yeah. That's it. You look at the amount of cameras, you don't have to have a ca- camera operator for each camera. It's mm. not one of these big bulky ones. Mm. Yeah. You know, the, the, it could have been how many guys behind the scenes. Yeah. Mm, I'm sure. not going to mention how many there are now, yeah. but there could have been many more. Sure. Mm. Sure. But it is what it is and it works. Yeah. It's just life. It's yeah. evolution. We have to be prepared for that evolution. Yeah. If we think we're going to shy away from it and wish it away, we're going to get left behind. Yeah. AI is here. AI is here to stay. AI is a great thing. It is going to propel um, the, the human race to the next level and we need to embrace it and start dealing with yeah. it. What's the most insane job you've ever done? 
Yeah. Most insane job. Like what, what, what have you been paid to do that you had to do at a stage in your life? Like, I've packed shelves before yeah. in a normal shop. But what's yeah, the, I've done that as well. Yeah, yeah, but like, what's the most insane one where you're like, geez, why did I do that? I've been through this. Yeah. Let me, let me say this is not something that I've been paid for, um, but, and I won't call it a job because it's, it's something that I've done and I've wanted to do and, I, and, I, yeah. and I, love, I love doing it and I still do it, is on the community service perspective. Sure. Um, so I don't want to call them clean up campaigns because it seems very dirty, one dimensional, but that's part of it. Mm-hmm. And it got very dirty at one point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, so what, what people don't realize that are not exposed to you know, driving past um, informal settlements, you see the squatter camps, um, the standard of living is, goes without saying, is, is very low. And these are things that we need to seriously deal with because it's going to come back to haunt all of us. Sure. You know, so I was listening to the premier of KZN it was a few months, maybe two months ago, three months maybe. Um, in a speech, he said in, in, in Durban, in Durban alone, you can fact check me on this one, they're close to 600 informal settlements. Wow. And we've seen a few of them. And yeah. Guaranteed, if we yeah. drive around Durban, we'll probably, if we think about, we'll probably name ones that we've seen. 10, 15 yeah. that we've seen. Springfield Park, on the side of the highway. Florida Road. Florida Road, M- M19 that just, um, um, part of it burnt down last night. Uh, well, ones that we see on our way to work or, yeah. you know, just commuting for, for sure. whatever reason. they 600. Yeah, it's yes. crazy. That's absolutely, absolutely, mad, which says we, we have a yeah. problem. We need to deal with this problem. Mm. But during the cleanup campaigns, I mean, it was everything from um, cutting grass to picking up litter, bottles, plastics, um, you know, whether it was on gravel, grass, within bodies of water, rivers, and coming across human effluent. Human what? Effluent. Uh, um, feces. Feces. Poo. Yeah. Cack. Like human. Yes, fresh, steaming. Yes. Fresh out the oven. And, <laughs> and you know, you know, you know, you know. You know <laughs> no, I'm straight, getting... you know. And we were sitting there in our, in our, in our PPE. Yeah. And you look at it. And the strange thing about our society, and this is why I say mindset, everyone needs to stand up and, and be counted. Is there people that live in those situations waiting for help? We, 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 we've watched too many Marvel movies where... Mm. We expect superheroes to pop up from no one is coming to help us. Bro. Mm. We need to take this initiative and we need to, to fight this fight ourselves. Sure. So we are doing cleanups and there's people from that very same area, community, neighborhood that are looking at us like, mm-hmm. mm. let's see you sift through that. Mm. And our thing is very simple. We're in it. We are knee deep in it. We came here with a purpose. We're going to fulfill this purpose. Whether you like it or not, whether you're a part of it or not, this is for the, for the, the, the good of the, the greater good of, of the community, not about certain individuals that have um, um, ulterior motives or, you know, agendas that don't want to see other people progress. Sure. So to answer your question, that was a long roundabout route. Wow. Didn't get paid for it, but I was... You picked it up? A, a whole bunch of, not me, just a whole... Does, a few of us. Some people yeah. were spewing on the side, yeah. Yeah. spewing their guts. That's, that's how bad it was. Yes. yes. And we, we, we cleaned it up. It was at the very same, same M19. Yeah. So it was M19. The M19 community. Yes. And, you know, shout outs to the people that came and helped. Mm. And for the ones that didn't, shout outs to you too. Where do uh, we find, where do we find, how do we help? Where, because where, because where, on where, social media, you don't actually have yeah. an Instagram page of your no. own. So how no, do no, we... I don't. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't. Just like I don't have a bank account, I don't have a social media. Account. Yeah, let's just keep I'm it. losing in life. Zuckerberg yeah. also. Yeah. Yeah. Zuckerberg also. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking yeah. hours. I'm taking hours. Yes. But no, that, that's been deliberate. Mm. Um, at some point, I will embrace it like everything else. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but I've been, I've been comfortable enough to. I, I, like, I like looking around. I like experiencing. I don't like being sure. in my phone all the time. Man. Mm. And like, you know, the phone distracts us from a lot of things. 100%. Mm. You, know, um, you know, we've got games in our phones, we've got, you know, our emails, mm. 
um, WhatsApp. Okay, it's a form of social media, but I mean, for me, it's a it's a messaging mm. tool for me, not social mm. media. Uh, so we get we get sucked in by the daily routine of, sure. of operating. So the other stuff, I try I try to to stay away from. Yeah. So how do know. we how do we know there's a cleanup, don't don't happening in the M19? Like how how do we how do we know so we can be like hey flip let's go. Or should we just be cleaning up anyway? Thank you very that's much. That's exactly that's what the design is about. That's what he's trying to say. <laughs> trying to say. Yeah. 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 You, you should just success. be cleaning yeah. up the anyway. The simple stuff. It's, it's our environment. Because yeah. what happens is you've got these communities on the river. All the way up river. You know, a lot of people who may not take interest in topography and um, geography will be like, ah, whatever. I ride in my spare time in, in the bush. Uh, quad bikes, two-wheelers, scramblers, whatever. And... You get a different perspective in the bush compared to driving on a tarred road or at most times even on a gravel road. Mm. Being in the mix, you realize the stress that we're putting on our environment. And people say, ah, no, this is a, coming with this tree-hugging mentality. No, guys, if we do not deal with the issues of, of, of recycling, keeping our environment clean, environmentalism, and that whole thing, yeah. we're going to have a problem. Mm. The, the, not even we're going to have, we do have a problem. Mm. So by the time... We see plastic bottles flowing into Blue Lagoon here in Durban. Mm. And there's different parts of the country. Margate, you can go down to Riches Bay, you can go all the way to um, Plet, Nisena, wherever it is. You've got communities living on the Umgeni River, as an example. Mm. 50, 60, 100, 200 kilometers upriver. Informal settlements. Parts of the rural areas, if you look at the, um, with some of the rivers that exist further up north, sure. the north coast, for example. That problem starts upstream. By the time we see it down here by a blue lagoon flowing into the ocean, well, we've, lost, we've, we, we've lost 100, 200 kilometers mm. of dealing with the problem. So now we need to engage with these communities, the M19s of this world and others, to say, guys... We understand that there's a housing issue that will be dealt with within a certain space and time. A lot of it is beyond our control as, as, as ordinary citizens, but we'll get there. Yeah. How do we start dealing with the issues of recycling? There's, there's companies that are doing some amazing things, but it's not enough. Mm, sure. So when we speak about cleanups and, and getting this, this thing, the, 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 the picking up people's waste, mm. yeah. whether it be plastic, whether it be cardboard, whether it be aluminum cans, um, there's, there's, there are two elements to it. One is keeping the environment clean and making sure that when you have your, your kids at the beach, you're yeah. not being affected by those issues that you could have been part of sorting out. We have to make it our problem. Mm. And two, you start creating an economy out of rubbish because it's there. Mm. You look at companies that are Impact and all these other companies and there's a bunch of other recycling companies. Mm. We see guys picking up cans, picking up bottles, mm. pushing those trolleys, mm. you know, X Games on the side of the highway, if rolling down mm. like they are Tony Hawk on, on these, mm. on these, on these um, boards with the, the big white bins. Mm. These guys are making money. That's how they make an income. To us, it looks like guys that are holding up traffic, mm -hmm. but to them, it's an income. So the people in those very same communities can turn it around and make a business out of environmentalism sure. if they really want to do so yeah. because it's there. Mm. Uh, sure. so, so it's... it's I know we, we've, we've gone off topic a bit, yeah. but you know, that's, that's a job that was a very, it was a very difficult thing. There was that five second pause where it was like, oh, mm. but if we're on a mission, we're on a mission and we're going to get to that clean ground and mm. we got to that clean ground. Mm. And the nice thing about it is once again, it was a mindset ever since we cleaned that patch, that patch had been maintained and cleaned by the very same community members, yeah. that M19 community. And, Respect to the guys and girls that came out and respect to them for, for upholding their end of the deal. We said, guys, we'll get you on your way. The maintenance yeah. is up to you guys. Yeah. And, they kept, and there's many other communities that we've, sure. we've worked with and they've done so. Sure. It's um, about setting the example and hoping that others start to follow. They will. It's more like action. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They will yeah. because it's one, that's why I keep, mm. the only thing I'll say if I say to people is just, you need to stand up and be counted. Yeah. Sure. They will. Because once again, you're a product of your environment. Yeah. If you are, because a new norm. So imagine a kid that's born in a shanty town. Playing soccer on rubbish and broken bottles is 
that's normal to them. Mm. Yeah. When you take them and they play on on some of the fields that may be within the inner cities or yeah. or some of the schools, they'll be like, "Wow, wow, yeah. mm. this is how it's supposed to be." Sure. Mm. You know. So we need to we need to we need to 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 almost reverse engineer it and say, guys, this situation that you're in mm. is not normal because a lot of people are born into it thinking it's normal, mm. and it's not. Sure. It's degrading. It's dehumanizing, and we cannot forget about the marginalized poor or the poor. They have to. We have to actively work with them. We have to actively assist in resolving their situations. Because yeah. if we think we're just going to forget about them, yeah. Trust me, they have not sure. forgotten about us. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So, so what what is a day in your life like? What's it What's it from the very start? What time is your wake up time? You're an early guy. I'm an early guy. I I never used to be. Maybe 20, 25 years ago. <laughs> but I've become an early guy. And I like making the fullest of my day. You know, I'll even say, even if I'm getting up and there's nothing happening in the day, I enjoy the sunrise. Mm. I enjoy seeing the weather change. I enjoy being outside. That's why when I ride, that's me being at one with, some people play golf, others surf, whatever it is. I'm, I'm at one with, with my surroundings, with, sure. with nature. Sure. And if, there's, if it's, it's a busy day, I plan my evening in my mind the night before. By the time I get up, I have an idea of, of what needs to be done. Mm. So there'll be the set meetings, conference calls, phone calls, um, places that we'll visit. Sure. And then in between, whilst we're out there anyways, we'll fill, we'll, we'll, we'll fill the empty spaces with meaningful mm. things. And a meaningful thing could be something as simple as um, supporting... What is the name of your coffee shop again? Oh, Touch. Manchester Touch. United. <laughs> you support Manchester United? Yes, I do. My man, do. That's, they're, they're killing us, bro. Mm. That, but that's my team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, is it? All, yeah. all of us? Okay, so yeah. we, all, we all have the same. We all, we, we all have the same. We, no, 100%. We've all been through the struggle. Right, right? Cool. Best team in the world yeah. is going through this going through Their situation. Something. Understood. Their situation. Understood. Understood. But Touch. Yeah. yeah. You know, supporting Touch because, and we're coming. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And the, the, to some people, it may just seem like yeah, it's, a co- it's a coffee stop, but you have to actively pursue supporting people just sure. like you guys support mm. other people. Sure. You sure. know, you giving me an, an opportunity to be in this platform, you're supporting me and it's not an active support. It's, 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 it's just basically saying, yo, here's a platform. Mm. Say your piece. Yeah. Mm. You know, sure. I appreciate it. Mm. Yeah. And filling in those spaces is something that I do a lot. Yeah. Um, just for people that have, have touched my life, have given me an opportunity, big or small, um, I'm, I'm big on reciprocating. Yeah. Yeah. So most of my filling in the daytime yeah. times is spent on 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 on, yeah. on on doing those what I believe are and have you meaningful things to me. Like Maybe a, not to you, but to me, yeah. it's meaningful just to so say filling, I see filling you. your cup. Yeah, I see you. I respect yeah. you. Um, you know, you've, you've afforded me the 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 respect and and uh, it's the least I, I see you do. into um, boxing as well. Yeah, um, you feel like it gives you a certain type of discipline. In your day to day, no, life. no, no, yeah, it's the boxing is purely for the day. We're in parliament, we don't whip a lot of dudes' ass. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm boxing. Everybody's gonna have their Everybody boxing ass. Wow, anyone can, anyone can get it, anyone can get it. White humble. shirts, whoever, 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 whoever believes has got it, let's go. I don't yeah. It's see not you gonna in a be, fight, eh? no, no, no I'm, I'm playing, <laughs> I'm playing, but if it has to happen, we're good to go. Mm. Um, the fight game in general, you know, there's different disciplines, but the boxing. I, I particularly enjoy it because I followed it for a long time, a long period of time. Uh, I enjoy the training, I, the, the training regimen. I enjoy the conditioning. I enjoy the mindset. I enjoy the discipline that it, that, mm. it, that it brings. And also being able to protect yourself. You know, we're not out here professing to be stone cold killers, but you know, you're not just going to run up on us and think you're going to have your way with us. There will be a fight. Yeah. And it's going to be a fight that you will lose. That's just it. Even if we lose, we still win. <laughs> That's just what it is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, discipline, respecting people because the worst thing you can do, and we, once again, it was an offline conversation, we had a lot of mm-hmm. offline conversations, but you, know, you gave the example of your experience in a boxing gym, is people like underestimating people and the humility that a gym 
will show you mm. is that you cannot underestimate. Sure. Mm. There'll be someone that's smaller than you, lighter weight. There'll be someone that's skinnier, someone that's bigger. Means nothing because it all boils down to skill set and how you develop those skill sets. Sure. And how you discipline within developing those skill sets. 100%. That's just what it is. Mm. So that's, 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 that's my, my takeaway from boxing. Besides the entertainment value of it, it's, it's, it's what it does. And I always, always use the example of, in my, in, in my view, you know, and you can hold me to it. There are two things that I've seen growing up. School time, um, adult life, that have brought people together. A gym. Dojo, boxing gym, MMA club, whatever it is. You may hate each other's guts. You may have issues, racial issues, religious issues. You may have, um, you can be ageist, whatever issues you have with people. Whatever is so ism that exists. Once you're in the gym, whether you are a CEO, a Fortune 500 company, a listed company, um, whether you are an influencer who's got millions of following, mm. whether you are a housewife, a high school kid, whether you are a kid from a shanty town, an, an informal settlement that's just seeing that as your way out. Once you step into that gym, you're all the same. Mm. The trainer teaches you, whether you call him coach, whether you call him sir. Oh, here we go. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> you are all the same person sure. in that gym. 100%. From the time that first bell goes until you leave. You may not sit in the same spaces, but you're breathing in that same sweaty mm. air. You're sweating all over each other when you're sparring, but there's bodily fluids being exchanged. Mm. The only other time I've seen people coming together and, 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 and not having an issue with, um, with the dynamics that I've spoken about, and I don't smoke or drink, but I've been in situations where I've seen people doing things, is smoking a blunt or smoking a... Uh, a blunt meaning a, a joint, a joint yeah. which is legal now, so I can say it. Mm. Recreational. Don't yeah. sell it. <laughs> yeah. Consume it. Please. And it's good for <laughs> medical benefits if it's used the right way. And um, smoking a hooker pipe. Mm. People will pass that wet pipe around. People will hold it and do all sorts of funny things. Yeah. But, you know, it, it, it brings, it's, it's strange, but those two recreations somehow break down barriers. Yeah. But the main, the main one is I, I use the, the smoking, the joint and the, the hookah as, 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 a, as um, in jest, I say in jest, but the gym, I've seen it humbling people and I've seen people who are PhDs learning from someone who hasn't gone to school. Bro science. Bro yeah. science. Yeah. yeah. Learning the sweet yeah. science from someone that hasn't gone to school. Sure. Yeah. Um, wow. Well, do you have any regrets? Uh, yeah, but a, a huge regret though. Um, Woke up this morning, I decided to wear this jersey. If I knew you guys were going to have 50 degrees, Baba. <laughs> Yo! The heat is I rocking. I can't wait, Jay. I, 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 I must have dropped maybe four kilos. I, I, I thought you had a bulletproof vest on it. Yeah, I also thought it was one of those. I thought it was strategic. I thought, uh, no, this guy's this my skin guy's coming. Teflon. Like, yo, I'm going to meet Winston's cats. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I was like, yo, that's my, my, my regret for the day is mm. I'm a bit warmly dressed. Mm. The weather's been... Unpredictable. Very much recently. So. You look at that, that you mm. hear the reports. Yeah. You know, they've been up and down. Yeah, yeah. So I just thought, you know what? I don't want to be that guy that wishes you wore something yeah. warm. Mm. Um, now I'm that guy that realized, yeah, I, I messed up, B. <laughs> but um, regrets wise, with everything that's happened, mm. the, my association to my former business partners, the family that I've been born into, the trials and tribulations that I've gone through. The situation I find myself in, mm. insults, mm. ridicule, negative comments, positive comments, love, um, admiration, adulation, disrespect. No regrets, but if I had to do it the same way, I'd do it all again. The country I was born in. Really? All again. If, 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 if that didn't happen, man, I wouldn't be sitting with you, Chucks. I wouldn't true, be sitting with true. Josh. Sure. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be having this conversation. Sure. It would have been a completely different story. What that story would, have, would be, I don't know. Mm. Would it be better? Would it be worse? I can't tell you. Mm. But where it's at now, I'm happy. Mm. Before we, we end this, I, I have a selfish question. 
Uh, Zonda Commission uh, of Inquiry. Um, <coughs> what was... Excuse me. If I was a fly on the wall at home, um, what was that like when you guys get this call? Now, nah, all right, boys, you got you to gotta, you gotta pitch here. Yeah, this is the story. What was, what was that like? Take me through that if I was a fly on the wall. Obviously, <laughs> not, not in great detail. No, no, it's, 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 it's all good. We, we, we're, not, yeah. we're not worried about the detail. Yeah. So, bear in mind, the commission revolved. There's a certain scope. And that's scope was over a certain period of time. So, ordinarily, it was never going to get to the bottom of what the real issues are. So, if you want to deal with issues of corruption, um, theft, whatever it is that has happened, because it has happened over, over the past. Mm. I'm not going to sit here saying that. It definitely has happened. You've got to open those books up to as far back as we can. You know, 94, 98, whatever it is. To go from that period, 20, let's call it 2020, 2021, and track it back to one administration. So let's call it 2010. Mm -hmm. you're not going to get to the bottom of anything. Mm -hmm. So what happened is he revolved this whole commission of inquiry around five role players mm -hmm. being the president at the time, Jacob Zuma, three Gupta brothers, and myself. And then everyone else that was alleged of being within our, our system of of patronage, which is the biggest load of rubbish, mm. as we can see. People have said all sorts of crazy things. The first time I came across the allegations was, <coughs> excuse me, 20, late, mid 2015. Okay. So by the end of 20, late by the fourth quarter, December, actually December, December 18th. Okay. December 18th, if I remember, remember well. That's when I got my first notice of, of bank oh. closure. So that was as a, as a result of the allegations. So the legal processes that happened, legal challenges, court cases, which I've appeared, anything that I've been accused of, I've appeared before a court, independent court, before an independent judge, um, before ind independent prosecutors, and I've, I've done the dance. And I've been found not guilty on a lot of my cases and on some of my cases and the other ones that they were taking chances on were thrown out. The only point where I realized now this is a bit too much is they were running a con concurrent, well, three concurrent processes. The one was a parliamentary inquiry. So they wanted me to go and sit in parliament and answer for my supposed or alleged transgressions. At the same time, there were court cases running in court. So it was before court role. Mm. And at the same time, there was the Zonda Commission of Inquiry that wanted me to come and appear. And I said to my lawyers, guys, I can't go to everything. Right? The, re the, 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 the parliamentary com uh, um, inquiry there's one thing, we'll deal with that, which I, I believe is a bit unfair and is a bit, was a bit um, premature, but it is what it is. It didn't happen because I think they realized that. But if you look at the commission of inquiry and the court cases that were running concurrently, I'd said, and this is a fact as per law, a commission of inquiry is a body instituted to get to the bottom of any wrongdoing. Mm -hmm. And that commission of inquiry, of inquiry will recommend um, a prosecutorial process. So now you go to the commission in the absence of a court case, if they found there's enough evidence for you to be prosecuted, they rec recommend it to a, a court. I was already in court. So I'm like, why am I going to the, I was yeah. in, in Dubai at that time. Why am I going to, to, to a commission of in, in, in inquiry? I'm double I'm already Yeah, you're hundred percent. No, but um, the, the, the commissioner was, was adamant. He was like, you've got to pop through or else we'll hold you um, mm. in, in contempt of the commission. And at that time, I was living in Dubai. I was out of the financial system here. Got a family to feed. 
And I'm like, I can't be doing this up and down story. And I traveled twice to South Africa and the case was, sorry, the, the appearance was postponed literally the morning of when I was supposed to, sure. to show up. And I'm like, mm. okay. So eventually it happened. And if you were a fly on the wall, the only thing that you would have heard me say is, I'm happy this time has arrived. Really? Yeah. Because what people, oh. what the powers that be within the legal system, within the political system, within the economic system, didn't plan for, is for some of us rocking up to the commission or to the court cases mm. because we are labeled fugitives. Oh. We're hiding out in the world. We're throwing these, these, um, um, these allegations into the space. Uh, no matter how much I defend it via um, interviews or through my lawyers, it's like, hey, that means nothing. Unless you're in front of a, a judge, mm. your word is as good as anyone else's. Mm, sure. So they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't factor me coming back to South Africa because of whatever reason. Yeah. And I came back and I was given the treatment at the airport, mm. um, at the courtroom. And the whole time, I was smiling. Yeah. Mm. I'm like, as much as this is degrading and yeah. as much as it's dehumanizing and as much as it makes me just look yeah. terrible, I'm going to have my day in court. Yeah. Just like they wanted me to and just like I need. Yeah. As much as it's costing me an, an arm and a leg and as much as it's costing me time, knowing yeah. that they know that I'm not guilty of, of these transgressions, yeah. I'll have my time and I've had my time. Yeah. We're sitting in 2023 now. Mm. My accounts haven't been open. I'm as innocent as they come. Sure. I've made mistakes in my life, no doubt, like every other human being. But you're alleging me of, of, of stealing from people. That's something I've never done. And I never will do. Mm. If anything, the very same people that are accusing me of, 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 of theft are stealing, have stolen from me. Mm. At some of the, 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 the biggest companies making Meteoric rises. A uranium company that was listed on the stock exchange broke into the, to the top 50 of um, the, the, the main board on the JSE, which was never done by a young black dude. That was yours. That was us. Mm. Look, pay resources. Look back at it. It's a fact. Mm. They can't take away from it. Damn it. You look at the, the coal mining space, we were aiming to be, um, if not the largest, the second largest coal mining producer in in the world that was our aim mm. and merging these two companies and making it one of the biggest resource companies that existed in the world that that was that was our our plan um, we were in the media space we had a ANN7 on the um, DSTV bouquet mm. uh, channel 4 or 5 which is now Newsroom Africa um, we had ANN sorry we had TNA the new age which was a, a publication um, a print newspaper. Why I'm saying all of this is we built businesses. Mm. These were not tenders. These are not government contracts. We invested from our pockets. We hustled to get to that point. And it was all taken away from, from not just me, from us. There's, you know, we've got partners in this, in this group. Whether you like us or not, that's a fact. Mm. You took away from, I can only speak for myself because I'm having this conversation. You took from what I worked hard for mm. in my 20s and most of my 30s. Mm. I've given you the answers. Someone owes me some answers. Well, I uh, hope you get those damn answers. If I don't get them, it doesn't matter. We, yeah. We're on to the next one. But I'm saying people mustn't act like we're running away. People mustn't mm. act like we, we shied away from, from the problem. No, we faced our problems head on. There's been no Stalin Gardist approach to, to the situation. Mm. We're here. We've conformed. We've complied. Every time you've called for us, well, for me, I've been there. Mm. And I'm here. It's not like you don't know how to find me. It's not like you, you didn't know how to find me. Mm. I'm here. I'm not running away from anybody. Mm. We want to have that conversation. We can have it on any platform. Yeah. But those multi-billion dollar companies that we built, you, you took away. Froze our assets. Sold a lot of our stuff without our permission. Sure. We've seen it. We've seen what you've done. We know how it's being done. We'll meet up soon. Mm. Well, do do Zani Zuma. You know, 
The Fuck. guy just does. You, you do. <laughs> so nice. You have to say it twice. Do do. do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can keep coming everywhere. Moto, moto. <laughs> uh, any last, any last uh, thoughts? Um, any last words uh, before we end? I just want to say thank you so much, yeah, man. Shots, it's, man. It's been, no, it's been I'm not so going to let nice. you guys get away so easily. No. What are you talking about? <laughs> I need to get your views on okay. where we're at. You know, um, uh, where we're at in, in, in our country, you know, where we're at as young people in this country. Do we feel like we belong? Is there a future for us here? Do we have, do we have the, the, do we have the balls to do this? Sure. Is it achievable? Are we, you know, what, what are your views on the current state of affairs as, as people that live in this country, as people that are business people, as people that are, in the space of shaping people's minds, because that's that's what you do with the information that you mm. you you, oh. you 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 pass on. Josh, do you want me, do you want to go first? Oh, you, you can go first. Well, I, you, uh, you are I'll the lead today. <laughs> 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 um, I'll go, man. Um, each 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 year is a is a new reflection for me. Mm. So, with regards to the state of of the country, I think there's. <laughs> I think the most frustrating part of the whole thing is the amount of potential that is visible mm. that we cannot, uh, we don't have the agency, not the urgency, the agency to, um, to actually get, get done. I think that's one. I think two, we are too afraid of taking risks as young, as youngsters. We, <laughs> we just want to land on soft, fluffy pillows when we jump instead of actually falling sometimes we don't want to fall. Mm. Um, but, uh, three, this country is beautiful, man. Yes, sir. Like visibly. Sure. It's gorgeous. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, and I think there's so much more we can do yeah. with it. That's, that's where I'm sitting. That's where, that's yeah. where I'm sitting right now. Uh, in terms of the future, I don't know what the next five years looks like. Uh, I can only tell you what I'm doing tomorrow. Playing golf. And I'm playing golf. <laughs> All right. And you? Look, nice, that, that, was, that, was, that was dope. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Um, I've had the, the privilege of working at a big corporate for a long time in my life and having the privilege of starting my own business as well. And... Um, Having the ability to travel abroad and chat to other like-minded people, yeah. I've, I've come to learn a lot. And the majority of the people who live abroad are more patriotic about South Africa than some of us South Africans. <laughs> and, mm, and that always gets Word. to me, you know? Word. When you when you travel across <laughs> and you're like, wow, this is such a beautiful country. And someone says, where are you from? And you say, South Africa. Mm. And they say, whoa, I've, I've dreamed of coming there. It's on my bucket list. It's on my goal. And every single European you speak to, they say, oh, I'm coming to Cape Town for the summer. I'm coming. Why are people coming here? What's so nice about this place? And it always goes back to the simple phrase of the grass is never greener on the other side. Yeah. It's green where you water it. And I believe that if we continue to water this grass that we on, we'll have the best garden in the world. Um, and I've seen it with the way I've conducted business and the opportunities I've had with business. I feel like it's like no other country in the world, you know, um, go to Australia. You've got to ask permission to have a, a barbecue, your neighbors, you know, you've got to notify them that you're cutting the grass, you know, <laughs> you've got to notify them. But in South Africa, you yeah, can make a plan. Highway, you pull up, chief. pull up, you know, portable price mm. thing. Mm. That's what I'm saying. There's no place like this place. Yeah, true hey? Um, and from everything I've gathered and my life experience so far, I believe that more young people in more high places will be a better South Africa. Mm. Because a lot of us, um, I can't say we've forgotten the indiscretions of the past, but we had a place where, where we want to make better with what we have for not only now, but for the future, you know? It's like we're planting a tree, um, knowing that we may not sit in the shade of that tree ever, but we want that tree to be there. Absolutely. Mm. So I, I believe that a lot of us and many of us in this room here have the same mindset, you know? Mm. Um, we want our kids to benefit and 
we want to live in a better South Africa. And I think we can. Not yes, no. we can. <laughs> no, that's, no, thank you very much for, for, for that answer. Sure. And I'm, I didn't mean to, I'm, I'm telling you, I took a liberty there, but I didn't, you know. Yeah, just, this is our show. I just wanted to hear that. Sure. Um, whichever, whichever, whatever, whatever the, the, the viewpoint was. Because what happens is we all, we, are, we all feel we have something to say and we think our viewpoint is the only viewpoint. You know, it's important to get different viewpoints from people sure. sitting on the table. Because more than anything, I mean, just off end, the people that know you best will know you. And, you know, to the people, to the viewers on, on, on their exposure to you. You guys have a certain outlook um, on, on how you phrase your opinions. Sure. And it's, it's a refreshing outlook. And I needed to hear that from myself on camera because yeah. we have a lot of discussions behind the scenes. Yeah. Some wild boys. But anyway, <laughs> a lot of discussions <laughs> behind the scenes. And it's important to have these, sure. these yeah. viewpoints put out there. And once again, for the mindset change, because a lot of people live in the doom and gloom. The, mm. the patriotism is missing. And that's the one thing mm. that um, especially Josh keeps touching on mm. is a patriotism thing. And unfortunately for a lot of people who have not traveled, they don't understand mm. that we live in... Wow. In paradise. Yeah. Paradise. Mm. Mm. Paradise. Bro. Mm. 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 Awesome. Thank you so Favorite much. Favorite sporting brand? Favorite sporting brand? Nike. Nike. Puma. Puma. Checks over stripes. Favorite football player? American football. American football. I don't watch any American NFL. football. It can, well, the only one I know is Brady. Tom Brady. Yes. Oh, well, we all know. And then oh. Odell Beckham. Mm. OBJ. Jr. Yeah. OBJ okay. Jr. Yes. Yeah. So I like I like um, Sean Lynch. I like I like yeah. mm. um, soccer. Favorite football club. <laughs> Manchester, Manchester United. 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 There's no other team in, in the world. South Africa. South Africa. Yeah. Amazulu. South Golden Africa. Arrows. It's, no, you've got to choose one. No, this we think ethnic mobilization. No, man, there. Ryan Moon. Golden Arrows. Golden Arrows. Go Golden Arrows. Golden Arrows. Arrows. I'm a Kaiser Chiefs. Chief. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, if you have to choose between those yeah. two. Yeah. Favorite musical artist, whichever genre. Wow. Sure, guys. I don't think many people know Kanye this. West. Kanye West. Kanye West. I've got a few. I like Meek Mill, but Kanye West cool. the man. We're not, we're not going to restrict you, sir. I love Yeba Smith. You like Yeba? Dude, I don't know if you guys know. Yeah, him. I know. She's um, got that song on Drake's album as well. She's got it on Drake's yeah, album. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeba's Heartbreak. Yeba's Heartbreak. Yeah, but yeah. you must listen to her own songs. Yeah. And um, Lauren Hill. I love uh, Score. <coughs> Who? A score. Score. Hans Zimmer. I don't know. Oh. If okay. you watch those movies, Batman yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. Okay, and then I'm done. I won't give you any more. Okay, so and you? Soundtrack. What are you listening to? Uh, right now, uh, I'm listening to... There's a new Two Chains, Lil Weezy out. Lil Wayne. <laughs> You like Lil uh, Wayne? Yeah, Lil Wayne. Oh yeah, we, he grew, shaped we, we spoke generation. about this no, like, yeah, at the time, yeah. He shaped the whole generation. Yeah, no, no, Lil <laughs> Wayne, most, most definitely. Um, I keep going back to Michael Jackson, man. Wow. Oh, I MJ, just, what whatever, a man. I just, I just keep, I keep mm. flipping back. Mm. I just I yeah. can't help it. Um, what's, your, what's your top two there? I'm enjoying, I'm, I'm enjoying, um, I'm enjoying Central C, man. Ooh, I like I like a lot of the I UK like Central stuff. Z. Yeah, yeah. I'm like I'm enjoying mm. Central C. You know Central C said something remarkable at his last show, right? Mm -hmm. Um he said, yo, there's a lot of people here right now that believe in me. But five years ago, nobody did. But there's one person here that did from the start, and that's my teacher in the front row. Oh, wow. Yeah, he said that was the only person at school that never like degraded yeah. him, you know? But I was like, wow, and she was sure. there at the front row. Crazy. Yeah. Central's yeah, amazing. Still. Central C. No, I'm, I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking the UK. What stuff. about Dave? Mm. I like Dave. Santa. Dave is out. He's up there. I mean, yeah. he's, he's a proper lyricist. I'm yeah. definitely on the, on the lyricism. So you're a Jay Cole guy as well. Um, I like Jay Cole, but I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. I, 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 I like what he's doing, but I wouldn't say that. Yeah. He's my guy. I'm, I'm liking, um, I'm liking what Dirk is doing. Nice. Yeah. yeah I'm liking what baby, Dirk is doing. Little baby. Um, little baby. Yeah. Can't yeah. go wrong with little baby. He's got the anthem. Yeah. yeah. Um, little baby. And favorite author or favorite book? Ooh. Full Night. Shoe Dog. <sighs> favorite book. Favorite book. And it's recent. Recent. Um, Atomic Habits. Hmm. Um, that's my favorite book at the moment. Um, really, really <laughs> like, really like that book. Teaches you different ways to. 
yeah. try change some of your behaviors in terms of habits and making things more of a lifestyle instead of a a diet or yeah. whatever. Um, wow. So yes, I'm yeah, enjoying. We spoke that about book. that, eh? Yeah, yeah. Lifestyle. Yeah. But for my side, end of power, the end of power mm-hmm. by Moises Tam. Yeah. Um, Tam. The book is basically it, it chronicles what power is in modern day in relation to was, what it was historically. Sure. And how over a period of time, absolute power has waned away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because of the conduct of the, 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 the people in positions of power. So not just political, so not just presidents and ministers and um, the big NGOs, but also people in the private sector, decisions that they've made, the big companies, the big corporates, um, CEOs, the MDs, um, the CFOs, Mm. um, the marketing um, gurus. It speaks about the scandals, the corruption, the decision making that's led to oil spills and all sorts of things, but basically saying how power, which was once centralized, has been forced to be decentralized. So now you have that's why you know the the, the boards and, and committees and and oversight bodies and I was just like oversight body after the next yeah. purely to keep the people in power in check. But the end of power speaks about how absolute power that's been corrupted has led to the situation which we're in. And I mean, it's, you can read that book at any time and it'll be relevant to, sure. to that time. In my uh, politics year, our lecture started with absolute power corrupts absolutely. Mm. That was his line. Uh, I wonder where he got what that What did you from. do? Paul 101? Yeah. Yeah, Paul 101. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Paul 101 no, it's, it's an old, yeah, it's an old, yeah. I forget, I forget who, who came up with that saying, mm. but it's a well, well known. What are you watching um, on so Netflix these days? Oof. I was actually, I've been put on to, so I haven't been much of a, <coughs> excuse me, of a series watcher. Yeah. I, I enjoyed Narcos, Narcos Mexico. Ooh, mm-hmm. there we go. This is mm-hmm. right there on top there. Pablo Escobar. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, you know, shout out to your stories of your immigration issues. Yeah. You know, yeah. People, <laughs> when Josh travels, they think he's a, he's a narco. <laughs> Boss, <laughs> Yo, they, pull him, they pull him into the essay. Yes. Like, hey, essay. <laughs> <laughs> this way, um, sir. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed that. And you watch Peaky Blinders? No, no, I didn't. Oof. What I'm watching now, and I've been pushed for years to watch it, and I didn't. But I'm on it, and I'm enjoying it. There's Power. Oh, I actually watched oh, Power. Ghost. James St. Patrick. I watched mm. Power Force first. Yeah, mm. and then now I'm watching Power. All the others. Mm. Yeah, amazing storyline. But it's it's under. And that's fifty, is, eh? For, yeah. fifty mm. cent. Producer. No, it's un, un, yeah, unbelievable. Amazing. Mm. And um, what else have I watched there that's been Game of Thrones? Been a fan? No, nah, I didn't get into that. Not no. you. Yeah, yeah the, the, the long format stuff. I'm not. Yeah, you're not for. Yeah, I'm not for this. Yeah, so I, I, when I get into something, I try and. He put me on to break. Oh, sorry, Red. the one no the. Yeah. the, the mm. Sorry, sorry to interrupt no, you. Cool. So, one I was thinking of, which was also one that I didn't. So, all the stuff I'm mentioning, all all the stuff. Mm. Um, the blacklist, man. Hey, oh, my girlfriend the loves the blacklist, bro. Yeah. That's the set that, that guy who's like well connected with the underworld. Yes, oh, yes, man. Yes, Raymond yes, Reddington. Yes, yes. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's one of the things I'm like, nah. I've watched notch, the man. first two seasons of it. Top, top, yeah. top notch. Top Guys, notch. I'm re-watching series because there's nothing nice anymore. This guy has a problem though. So Who? I've, I've he will tell you to start a series. <laughs> you start it. Now me and you will be on season four. He hasn't started it. Oh, but I'll... But he passes us. Yeah. He passes us. Make, I make the he time. He makes the time. He makes the time. Um, and he'll tell you word by word. That's his Standing problem. Standing in a supermarket yeah. queue is watching. Straight yeah, up. Straight he's up. on it. Um, yeah. Guys, you must try out The Mentalist. Okay. I the watched that list. one. What about um, I'm watching it again and uh, Dexter. Dexter and Bra- Breaking Bad goes without saying. That's yeah, that's, that's already that's there. Already. But yeah. you must watch Dexter. Have you watched Obsession on Netflix? No. Crazy, absolutely yeah. crazy. We were about a dad and his son, and the son brings a chick home, and then yeah, mm. you must understand. Favorite MMA fighter and favorite boxer, or you can pick one. Well, after watching a little bit of MMA. I love uh, Nganu, bro. Gun. That man is just physical. He is, yeah. he is 
a Solomon Vandy from Blood Diamond. <laughs> you know, he is just... Solomon Vandy? Yeah, I Solo. know you hear that. <laughs> you know, he's just... Yeah. He's the man. Yeah, man. I wonder I like, what he eats. I like Connor a lot just because of his mm. story yep. and the way he was so boisterous when he... You know, when he came out, it wasn't conventional. He was, no, it was... When he was chatting the yeah, chats. He was out there. He was out there. Yeah. Um, I like Kamzmat. Kamzat. Kamzat Chimayu. Yeah. Um, really good fighter. And uh, I'm I'm liking Adesanya as well, but I know he's got some beef for Trickus that's going right. on now. Oh, Trickus! Hey, Trickus how can I is a South African, African yeah. boy. Yeah. He's fighting for the for the yes. title. He's fighting yeah. Sean Strickland and in January. Yes. I feel like yes. he's he's, yes. He's, he's he's up there. Trickus no, he's is up he's, there. He's, he's he's a strong boy. Nah, he but he, what do you feel about his chat that he chatted about uh, when he called Adesanya out? Because Adesanya is a black guy. Mm. But he grew up in China. That's Israel. But he's from the New Dragon. Zealand, yeah. right? And is, well, he's Nigerian living, yeah. grew up in New Zealand. Exactly. Yeah. And then Tricker said, you're not a real African fighter. I'm a real African fighter. I was born in South Africa. I breathe in the I African. fight in South Africa. <laughs> I, me and Cameron breathe in the South African air. Mm. What's your take on that? Because I feel like he's right. He's not lying. Yeah, so look, at the end of the day, when it, when it comes down to your being, it's, it's where you're born. Bro. Sure. Regardless of... Mm. of ethnicity. Of, yeah, ethnicity. And that, that goes, it goes both ways. So you, I can be born here and live in China like he did. Sure. And adopt the Chinese culture and everything and have respect for it. But where, where I live does not necessarily make me who I am. Sure. It's where I'm from. Yeah. You know, so a, 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 lot, a lot is to be said of that. And it's just like if you look at a lot of African-Americans, there's a lot of guys that will say, I don't know why they call, call me African-American. They don't call everyone else that settled from mm. the Netherlands, from, um, from Germany, from, from mm. France, from Ireland in, 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 in the US. They don't call them Netherlands and you know, Irish-American. Yeah. Chinese-American. You know, they're American. Indian-American. And a lot of guys don't yeah. identif identify. Yeah. They'll be like, no, I'm not African. I'm American. This is where I'm from. So I think that's, that's a level of, of argument that... Yeah that Trickus was coming from. And uh, there's definitely yeah. some merit to it. But where Israel is coming from is he's black. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, he can never be Maori. Yeah. <laughs> you can black. only be from you Africa. Can, you can only, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So there's merit in that too. Sure. Um, but I think it was, um, it was a miss of him to say that, that, that um, Trickus is not African. He's as, he's as African as yeah. mm. Trickus is. My man's eating nah, Bulsong he's, and Buravos daily. He's, he's, he's as African as, that's a strong, yeah. That's a strong boy, man. Sure. I mean, he's, yeah. his, his level of, of, once again, you speak about a patriotism, yeah. you see it. The man could have been yeah. living in, in, in Vegas, in sure. Miami, wherever it is, doing his camp yeah. there and promoting his interest in building. Sure. Any moment he gets, he's back on the flight. He, he also had uh, he's in the same surgery as we did, eh? Yeah, yeah. Recently. The deviator septum. septum. How was that for you, though? Sorry? How was the deviator septum well, surgery? Well, I'm, I'm like six years away. I'm six years Past it, hmm? yeah. But uh, but you did it in you you're an adult when you did it, yeah, basically. Yeah, but it was painful. It was I terrible. did mine recently, and yeah, mm. those things that get pushed up into your your nose, and then when they rip what them out, it? rip it. Sorry, what causes it? Uh, mine was damaged, yeah, and mine so. was like mushed to the left, so my breathing was like on like yeah. I think like so. Most three. times it's it's trauma to the nose via a breakage or something. Yeah, and mm -hmm. most times I didn't know. So my doctor told me hey, you broken your nose. I'm like. Eh. I've been punched in the nose. Um, I've had ex accidental headbutts, but picking up a baby, yeah. you know, playing soccer, basketball, you know, sure. just exit. So any of those things, just because you didn't have, you didn't have a nosebleed does not mean that your cartilage wasn't damaged. Ah, wasn't damaged. Yeah. So it's like, yo, you had a, a break or two mm. and the uh, oxygen flow is not as optimal as it should be. Yeah. Jeez, so that causes... No, he's gone, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That nose is wrong. He's, he's scuba diving every day. He's breathing <laughs> yeah, through his mouth. Yeah. Man. So, so what that does, besides anything, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's less of, oh, no, I can't breathe 100%. I can only breathe mm. 60, 40%, whatever. It's a quality of sleep. Yeah. Mm. Because I, I didn't realize it when I went to my a EMC. He's like, yo, the reason why you, you, you have, um, body pains when you're training and you're not recovering as, as well as, as, as quick as you should be is because you're not getting enough oxygen mm. when you are in your, your REM state of, state of sleep. You know, um, you're struggling to breathe. So that leads to snoring because now 
you you suck, sucking, you know, you're trying to mm. suck in sure. that extra air, you know, so you're not getting o- enough oxygen to the brain. It affects your your dreams, yeah. you know. And then when you're training, you know, you you're now breathing. You, you start creating the habit of of taking deep breaths through your mouth as opposed to through your nose. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So it's, it's it's all those sorts of things, and you know, as as you recover, the the the, the, the further and the recovery you go from the day of operation, mm. you start realizing the small things. So you're like, actually. This is a, that's a big change. Mm, sure. A very small thing, but it's made a big change. But it's a gruesome, it's Yo. a gruesome recovery. Yes. Mm, mm, gruesome mm. recovery. Sorry, boys. It is. My, it I've is. got enough oxygen here, yeah, as you can see. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. You can see my brain. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> no, it's because the comment section, I just want to, I just want to stop you right there before you come for me. Cool. Um, I, I was floating in this show. I was wondering, I felt like I was, <laughs> you know, <laughs> The gravity was taken away from us. I felt like I was, I was in outer space. Oh, it was you all along. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, 2024, don't we have FCON we as do. well? We do. Yo. Okay, this is my official message to my boys there. We're backing you, Bafana. Cricket is taking a break now. Unfortunately, we didn't make it. Unlucky. <laughs> but uh, the focus has now shifted to the Bafana boys. So, yeah, that's, that's my message there. Because I'm always getting caned for it. So it's now time for us to focus on them. Yeah? Why, why are you getting caned for it? No, because I, I, I always he chats, say... He chats shit no, I, <laughs> no, no, I tell the truth. I tell, oh, uh, I tell the truth. I say, guys, there's, there's, a, there's clearly a different developmental structure in the different sporting codes. Which there is. It's a fact. Which is what's affecting the performance of the... the, the, the the sporting, the sporting codes, because that, that that's just my fight. I don't want to get into it too much, no, but, he's but I do. Himself in. But I do want to say that there is a difference in development. We do need to fix. <coughs> we need to fix the South African football side of it because we we can see how good we are in all the other disciplines. No, you're hundred percent correct. So that's that's fully, my cry. I've, I fully agree with you. Yeah. You don't well, even need to. It's to evidence as well. It's evidence. Exactly. I mean, you look at you. You travel around. You go to the different schools. Yeah. You see the the the, the developmental tournaments that happen. You look at the rate of progress, skills, strength. It's not. It's not. It's not where it used to be. That's a fact. In comparison to where the rest of the world is. Mm. Exactly. You look at you look at at, at our league. You just something as simple as flipping through the channels you can see exactly. what a good game of soccer looks sure. like and what an average game of soccer Yo, looks like exactly and once in a while we have great games of soccer in south africa but most times they're bad true it's it's, it's not it's not at the level that it, it, it should be and all i want is for them to tell us how we can make a difference but it's management ex- it's like well, everything then, else then it's like it's like our government it's yeah. like our, our different sporting codes it, it's right. like our schools universities it's like our homes it all boils down to management. Well, then sure. I'm, I'm sure. And you don't have to be mismanaging something for it to go wrong. You just your management skills are are not up there. Yeah. Exactly. Sure. And then that's across the board. But anyway, yeah. fix South Africa as a whole. Bafana, Bafana, the pro tiers. Let's get it going. Our uh, pro tiers, they they did they did well, man. I mean, hey. unfortunately, hey. Uh, Mupavs. So unlucky. the tag, the tag, hey. the tag still. It still stands. What's that? I don't want to say it because they'll be like, ah, no, no. the choker's tag. Like, no, no, I don't think so. What? I don't think the choker's tag. We, we, haven't, we, we haven't made it to... to no, we chokers, boy. No, I don't think so, guys. Semi-final. I yes. think in, in this Fifth instance, of gray. in this instance, I disagree. Terrible, yeah. I disagree, nah, man. Bad. Um, they the, played well there. They're, they're, yeah. a good, they're a very good showing. A ve- yeah, I mean, to, um, to Quinton... He played so well in the in the but couple they, of games, they, but other guys were supposed to they take should us have home. Dropped, they should have dropped our captain yes, as well okay. for the semi final. He was injured. Fitness, it, yeah. it, he happens, was injured. it happens. Yeah. It happens. It happens. And we have, a good, we, we have a good number no, one. The, the had, argument would have been good. Had we won, Sia okay. Colis should have dropped him. He had a knee injury. Yes, yeah. you see now. And no, but but him. I mean, um, with with Timber, he wasn't fit for. Remember last year they dropped um, the chick from the semi final for the Proteus because she didn't pass her fitness test. Mm-hmm. They dropped her. But <laughs> Bavuma wasn't dropped and he obviously played and who the guy didn't make over 30 for the whole World Cup. You've got to drop players on and form. In the final, yeah, he went out. You've got to, you've got to drop players yeah. based on form. And you've got a guy, a replacement, uh, Hendrix, who's, who, who did like... There's a reason. Yeah, Reza scored like 98 in two games. Why wasn't he given a run? Okay, so he should have been given a run, but we were in the semis. Yeah. Um, we were happy to be in the semis with the, the box. 
So unfortunately, we didn't make it through, guys. That's just my. It the better team wins, yeah. boy. Yeah. 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 Only India to win. On to the next show. We, yeah. we'll, we'll get we'll get back to it. Yeah. Sweet. Our cameras are overheating. I hope you can still see us. Is it because right, we look Dan? good or because of time? <laughs> <laughs> um, shout out to Dane. Yeah, shout out to Dane Holmes Dane Production. Holmes, Holmes Production. Holmes Production. Films by Dane. Filmed by Dane. Um, guys, Dane, 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 all Dane. All the Dane. reels you see are just made by, by him. Dane. He is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, thanks. Great Dane. Yeah, the great Dane. Great, great Dane. Dane. Um, thanks for the support, guys. Thank you um, yeah. for, for coming and Thank giving you, us Bruce. some of your time. Um, we, we really appreciate, appreciate it. it. We do. Um, all the best mm. uh, for, for the future. Yeah. And hopefully we can meet again. I mean, that'll be. Yeah. That'll Pretty, Listen, pretty cool if, if we can get a status update. Come in a touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, touch. yeah, yeah. We Never, come in a touch. If there's any campaigns yeah. that you're doing, I know you don't like speaking about them, but Let we can know. speak about them for you. So yeah, you yeah, tell us. No, it's, it's just, and we get it moving. Get in where you fit in. I yeah. mean, that goes yes, it's just from a change perspective. And once again, don't think of it as politics. Sure. Just think of it as your human duty. Yeah. That's 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 all that's all we need. Bro. Sure. The yeah. rest will sort itself out. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank you very much for your time. Man. This has been a pleasure and Cheers. honor. What a it's been fun. I'm, I'm being clapped off because I'm talking too much. <laughs> but, uh, no, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs>